Uh. Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give her fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. But get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. I told you he had some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga, get it in. Mm. Go on here, chat room. Did get it in. Motherfucking sexy ass motherfucking blazer, goddamn it. Floral print. God damn it. <laughs> Bottom of the aquarium looking this bitch. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> <laughs> Y'all might as well just go <laughs> on in. <laughs> can say, damn. <laughs> Corey like a look tampon. like a tampon. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, nigga, sexy ass motherfucker. Rosie Corey. What the hell? Kanye Holcomb, get the fuck out of here. And <laughs> he got on the five heartbeats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this the uh, <laughs> Flamingo Holcomb. <laughs> <laughs> It's that blaze of big red hell that nigga out the window with, right? Right. God damn. <laughs> if I ever catch you walking through my garden again. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga's suit made of plants. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what they say? What? Who painted my jacket? Oh. <laughs> they going in. Grandmama coat. Right. Nigga, this is... Um... Corey Fox. Corey Fox. Oh, shit. That's the worst <laughs> one. Oh, I like that one. I like that wow. one. Somebody say, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> Alyssa, whatever your name is, motherfuckers. Anyway. Oh, I got it. Remember when they went in? On Kim Kardashian for wearing that full floral covered uh, dress to the mm. Met Ball, it's that that's the jacket. <laughs> this the jacket to match that's it. That's the jacket to match it. That's All right, right goddamn it. This All one right. of them jackets you wear, goddamn it, when you just tired of the regular plain shit. I got so many black blazers, blue blazers, checkers. Right, yeah. it's like <laughs> checkers. Yeah, I mean, oh, the stove. Give me that weird shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> Pizzazz it Paisley up, Park. Huh? I love it. No. Right. <laughs> Roseanne Holcomb. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hilarious. Wasn't it a champagne bottle this color? Hmm. Um, I don't know. I don't no. drink. It's got some weird looking flowers on here. That's right. what. And, and glitter and glitter it's threads. Some, they can't re they can't recognize, but it's got some texture to it. It's, it's a pretty good sharp. Vegas but it's got, jacket. Yeah, I it's could got, dress it up, but you see, you, I do this shit on purpose. Yeah, on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Lunell Holcomb. Oh, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> okay, I see. It's like a tux jacket almost. Cause look, it's got satin right here on the lapel. Post some water yeah. on it, it'll grow. Oh, oh shit. shit. All right. <laughs> Quay, oh, that's, that's the Koi Varcia. Oh, <laughs> anyway, I want to start the show out by sending a big shout out to somebody who showed me a lot of love this weekend. I was very flattered that the young brother knew me. I did this video with Kendrick Lamar. Wow. Um, oh, yeah, sad. man. Um, you know, uh, a couple of years ago, maybe about a year and a half ago, I did a show out in Vegas mm -hmm. for the Kevin Hart weekend. And Kendrick Lamar was one of the performers there, and he said that's when he first saw me. So, man, it's like he was like, I'm a big fan, and he let me do his video, These Walls Could Talk. Mm -hmm. Wow. Man, man, right. we Congratulations, act, man. Man, we act a motherfucking fool, man. Man, so I, I look I, I forward to seeing how they I, cut it up, because, you know, I, man, I act a fool. I was 5150 at the show. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Here so we you, go. you see how we talk this <laughs> shit right here? Yeah. yeah. And like uh, a couple of his guys knew about the fifty one fifty show, but he wasn't up on it, man. Them niggas was rolling. Really, That's them niggas up. was rolling, dog. So uh, big shout out <laughs> to you, yeah. youngster. Good looking, one yeah. love, baby. I love that shit, man. I, I started to wear this jacket up to the motherfucking shoot, oh, but I ain't. Stop. Wanna, no, yeah, that would ruined everything. <laughs> right, they, they probably would have thought I right. Hey, homie, hold on, homie. Hold up. Right. Hey, hey, this thing got on a garden jacket. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
you know how it was, right? Like, that shit is crazy. I, 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 who was that nigga? Who was that nigga? Hey, that nigga's jacket is floral in the motherfucker. <laughs> the only way you can wear a jacket like this is when you know people. You know what I'm saying? Right. You can't yeah. you can't step to people like the introduction of the relationship with no shit like this yeah. on. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have bring a certain some pictures way about of somebody called it a little Richard jacket. Yeah, wear, wear some <laughs> little Richard? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna like, bring some. Watch him show you. You should be able to play this shit out of piano if you got a jacket like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm gonna bring some. This jacket is foxhole moist, but oh. when you a man, you can pull this shit off. Yeah, well, you confident. You could <laughs> it's definitely yeah. choir director jacket material for sure. <laughs> choir director at the yeah. big um, choir um, co- yeah, contest would... in Alabama. Oh, uh, yeah. For what? the three blind men and everybody else be singing this shit. And that motherfucker be sweaty. I'm a soldier for the no. army of love. Anyway. <laughs> you can't have a ponytail with the jacket like that. Oh, oh well. well, I don't know. I that's I was just telling you that I could bring a few photos in. That uh, Ice T used to wear shit oh like this, right? God. Have you ever been to a players' ball? At Dang. players' ball? Have and you ever been to? A, you ever been to? You ever been to a players' ball? Yes, I oh, have. Been. My hey. God, I've never been. And during rehearsals, wait. You see the players' the, ball. You'll have to have the hat. And pants. Courtney. And no shoes. It don't stop with a jacket. Right, right, right. You know, it's the whole. Get them I, niggas had a car interior just like this, sitting yeah. on it with their jacket just like this. Just like that, <laughs> blending in. God damn. <laughs> Wait, I got a photo of him with a black velour blazer with the gold thick, like, just the designs, that kind of Versace kind of designs all yeah. over it. Wait, though, with pink rollers in his hair. Uh, I'm a Midwest nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got to understand, man. You took it back with I'm that. I'm in the motherfucking Woo! shop. You know, they don't right. yeah, they don't, if you from Chicago, you Detroit, St. <laughs> Louis, East St. Louis, nigga, we wear colorful Jerry. shit. Hey, wait, nigga. You, you best not say Harlem. anything to somebody like that because you know they're crazy. You like now and later, gators, nigga. Ooh. I got purple gators, nigga. Yeah, that niggas will be like, ah, but if I go out west, <laughs> if I go to Chicago. Where you get this <laughs> nigga said, man? Oh, this man. nigga got some purple. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is so nigga. true. <laughs> nigga. That is so true. That's real. Yeah, oh my God. Somebody That's why when you, you go to Kansas Corey City. Wade. Kansas City, yeah. <laughs> oh. Corey Wade. He, he Wade from Chicago. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. what he said. Uh, nigga, what y'all don't know, nigga? Look, I got all shorts under this one. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I don't give a fuck. See, that's 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 true. This is fifty one fifty, man. That's how you rock it. Shit. I don't to a degree either. I if really you're a real nigga, you go on the first date just like this. Hey baby, what's up? Oh shit. <laughs> what that mouth do? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what that mouth do, goddammit. I don't like your daughter, bitch, but it's all good. <laughs> That's how it go. Ooh, Shit. Oh my god. Oh god. They going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> they they <laughs> jump on that. You Corey did. nigga ball jacket. <laughs> uh. Look, we need to have a fifty-one fifty ball. That's the best one, uh, Harmony yeah. Clowns. Yeah. Yeah. Look, Harmony Clowns. Corey, Corey edible uh, arrangements. Corey <laughs> edible arrangements. <laughs> 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 Crunk Popeye. No, I like that one. That's my favorite. Corey Corey has on a a koi fit. A koi fit. (laughs) 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 They're going in. I love it. Mm. Oh, man. I'm bold with it. There it is. Shit. I got colors. (laughs) I'm a Midwest (laughs) nigga. (laughs) Oh, yeah. That's Darlene. That's your song, ain't it? Colors. (laughs) Colors. What the hell is that, my song? Colors. Cool. You know that's that's Y'all your time. That cool. 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 Well, not really, because I had already stopped doing videos and stuff like that. I I was in all the earlier videos though. Every city yeah, I go to, I saw to. that album cover today. Where that damn Darlene at, nigga? You need to bring her with you, this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Every motherfucking city I go to. Anyway, all right. all right. Well, well, we can get to it. All right. The segment of the show that has grown very popular. As it is called, Darlene's Loose, Loose. Talk <gasps> About Bullshit. Okay, and I, please bear with me I, because I forgot my reading glasses, so I'm going to do my best. Again. What them glasses for? I told you already. These are for distance. I can't drive without these. So if so holds I've got three up, pairs and I. You might be able to see it. No, right. I can go like this here. Okay. All right. Well, shit. Get your Z's together. I ain't about to look old as hell reading this shit. <laughs> Shut up. Look, you know, put that mother on the tip of that nose. Well, you better. Oh, 
hope that your eyesight hangs in there longer. This has been Franklin. Uh-huh. Did you hear? Right. You better hope you don't go blind, nigga. <laughs> Yo, well, I right. did not say that. That's, that's said, basically that's what, what she said. said. No, I said you better hope that your eyesight holds up. For Almost wished it on That's basically, on you. yeah. Oh, you caught that? that? Yeah. You caught that? <laughs> I did. Oh, I don't miss you. Stop. Hope your you don't jacket, see no more, hey, nigga. Your jacket is hurting because I have to focus. When I, look, yeah. when I look this direction, it's giving me extra work. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Y'all are very aware. Try to um, read your jet. Go ahead. God <laughs> dang it. Y'all are very aware that Lamar Odom, the whole situation with Lamar, which took place last week while we were here, right? It was already, uh, it had already happened to him. Um, so apparently he, uh, people were freaking out, you know, a couple of days after that because they were going in on the Kardashians because, you know, they flew out there immediately. Technically, Chloe's still legally married to him. So she's making all medical decisions for him. So everybody that's, that got legally married to someone, you better handle that because you know, if you don't have, uh, you know, anything written down, anybody you're still legally married to is going to be in control of everything. Not your children, not your mother. So anyway, just putting that out there. Anyway, uh, so they've been out there, um, and rumors are that cameras actually followed that were filming it. So I don't know. That's that's just rumors that they actually were filming them. You know, the whole kind of thing when it was unfolding. Apparently, he well, no, he did. He's he's uh, come out of the coma, and they have flown him to Los Angeles. So he's um, at Cedar Sinai now here, um, recovering while he recovers. Yeah, about the hardened shit. Not yet. Wait a second. Because oh, I was just going to. No, no, no. Go ahead. no I want you to, that's why I ain't saying no. <laughs> Before the hardened thing, because I don't. I heard something, but I'm going to get your take on it. But no, I was going to go in on the Master P situation. Because you heard what he did. When he called out he Kobe. He called out Kobe and, and others. Yeah, some others there. But, but mainly Kobe, because he said that he didn't believe that it was um, done out of sincerity. His visit to Lamar, because Kobe went out there. Um, and Kobe. Uh, tweeted back. What was that that he tweeted back? Just pray. Him? Help him no. read that, Chris. Stop it. <laughs> you going to get it. You what know what? You're going to get it. Cut it out. I'm Help her read it. that. Shush. You can run a train on Darlene and she won't even know. Oh, <laughs> oh, stop. God. I'm going to get you. Hey, let me see it. Let me see. Is that, yeah, that's that dick. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, I can't, I can't find it. Well, I heard Master P was um, critical on Kobe going out there to visit. Thought it was disingenuous. Well, this is what I want to say about that. I want to say this about that. I think Kobe is not a stand-up guy from what I've seen. But when somebody's sick and somebody goes to see that person, I don't think it's on us to criticize that. Mm, okay. You know what I mean? Right. He went to where the man was. Because some people FaceTime they sick homies. Be in the same city and head thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He, he left the game. <laughs> he went to go see that man. Yeah. Is, whether it's a strained relationship or not, I give Kobe credit for going out there to see him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, mean, I don't think highly of Kobe, but because I know things or it's things he's done. But I'm just saying, when your man down and you go see him, right. okay, you know what I'm saying? That's it's cool. almost like a white yeah. flag to the bullshit. Right? Mm-hmm. Fuck all that shit, nigga. Yeah. What's up? What's nigga? happening? You right. see what I'm saying? And That's then right. the real question comes back: Is did Master P go see him? Well, Does Master P friends. know him? Yeah, they they're they friends. Said that he was yeah that he reached so out to him. So I, I just think if if you gonna criticize the people for going, at least be among the people that went. And then, okay, I got you know, it. I we don't know if Master P went. If he did, that's good. That's but I'm just saying, saying it's like. In there, like nah, you know what? Yeah, I'm I'm be going okay. Right. I know. I hope yeah, Master P went. He did Turn wait. He did this. not. Yeah. He did not say his name. Right. So Kobe didn't say specifically to Master P, but he did tweet this after that aired with Master P when they caught him because they got him walking out of a store or something when he made this comment. So it's videotaped. It's not like he, you know, tweeted it. Uh, So Kobe tweeted, uh, when we feel the need to question the support of others in moments as critical as a life hanging in the balance, then we must question the kind of culture we have created that has led us to such insensitive suspicions. That was his second tweet. What was the first one? The first tweet was just pray. Mm, that was his he, response. He, no, but he probably didn't see that. Does that mean he don't want it with Master P? No, I just think he was saying all the... Oh, he is in the NBA, so he can't... 
you can't really talk how you would talk if you didn't mm-hmm. have sponsors right. and mm-hmm. things. Right. Um, right. I mean, look, let me tell you something, man. I bought almost all them No Limit albums. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was a yeah, man's to be. He dropped, he dropped 30 of them right, every year. Nigga, nigga. Every year, 30 Beats albums. pound. <laughs> right. The yeah. niggas, look. I, I fuck with Master P, but I, if I was Master P, homie, I'd be like, don't you know say what that. I mean? Yeah, Leave that shit yeah. alone. Don't speak on that. Leave that yeah. shit alone. Easy player, right. easy player. And we all need somebody to say something like that to us, because I've done things right. where people will come tip my shoulder, and I'd be like, you right. You right. <laughs> you right. I, did, I went too far. Boy, I went too far. That man is in the wheelchair. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. All right. I mean, but I'm just saying. No, it's that's like, the point. Uh-huh. Kobe has demonstrated things that makes us question his sincerity as a man. Right. Mm-hmm. But when somebody is getting ready, when somebody is close to death like that, because last week it was some motherfucker said he died yeah. while we was on air. Lungs right, collapsing, right. kidneys not working, organs shut down. My odor was pretty bad. Yeah. And mm-hmm. all bullshit aside, no matter what you say, Kobe went to go see him. Damn he was it. there. I got to give you points when you motherfucking really earn them points. My, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's so, I mean, there's a million ways to get publicity. If you chose that way to get it, good move. If you got an insincere heart, um, it's going to show. It's gonna show. Right. Something will come be out. Revealed. Somebody will say something. You know, it's going to show. Something. But bottom line, when, you, when, when, when somebody who you know and you fuck with is on the motherfucking, that slab, that's what I call it, them hospital beds, that's a slab. Mm. Man, you need to go see your people when you can. Right. And he found a way. You like fuck that shit. I gotta get out here. And see that. I mean, he left a game for Kobe. He left a game. That's saying something to me. Okay. Cause that's all that motherfucker is about. Right. It's well, basketball. Also, uh, you know, Master Pete also said that uh, not only did he say that he thought that that was insinc- you know not sincere that of Kobe flying out there, but he also stressed the fact that he thought that Kobe could have helped him out when. Lamar was trying to get back on the Lakers because he said he damn near owns that team. He said Kobe damn near owns the team, and he could have done more on his. That's part perception, get... though. Right. Lamar you Odom know. is not ready to be playing for the Lakers because I'm saying this is that my opinion. Right. This is my then. opinion because, in my opinion, well, all I know is when the when the old man was the owner, mm. he used to do things to show you he going for championships. Right. right. Lamar Odom is sick right now. Yes. You anybody can't have who, him on the team. He anybody who got somebody who fuck with that real street drug shit, you know. They not in a position to do what the fuck they supposed to do. Right. He's going to be rambling through niggas' lockers and he's he going to be doing all type of shit. Right. <laughs> you know what? Right. Anything can happen. Right. right. I know this got some money. I look at the free throw line like. <laughs> 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 Oh, he all right. What, we nigga? Go at <laughs> nigga, I got people on them drugs out there in the street. I got motherfuckers in my family on camera nodding off. <laughs> he on the free throw line nodding off. Oh, nigga, what? You know what I'm Wait a minute, is it too soon? <laughs> nigga, what? No, Lamar's, Lamar's he good better. Now. Yeah. And we don't know what he on. But that nod off, you can't play for the Lake. You can't you can't win a championship on the nod off side of the game. The nod off side of the game. <laughs> Motherfucker. Ball I wonder if them niggas, niggas do that while they fucking. <laughs> Bitch, you like this dick, don't you? <laughs> I done seen niggas sleep standing up. Uh, <laughs> Have you seen this shit, please? Yeah. Nigga is sleep, but he's Hell still yeah. standing up. Oh, I shit. done seen it. He's sleep like he's in a bed. Like, <laughs> right. he's totally yeah. sleep. But he's standing up. <laughs> Straight standing up in traffic. Uh, I've nigga. Seen that. I've well, seen you that fuck that with them the street drugs, <laughs> nigga? Seen my that. face. Stop. Okay. You're going to get hit by a bus. You could get hit by a bus and sleep through it. <laughs> That's real. why them drunks, when they wreck, they're always, they, uh, most of the time, they end up all right. Because <laughs> they, you know, them DUIs, and you always hear the body be numb. They just black out. It's no all resistance. <laughs> Whatever way the body's turning, it's turning that way. Jesus, Jesus, God. They're not resisting. That's how you're breaking your arm. You're resisting. Oh. No, they're not. They're yeah, rolling. They're not, they're not embra- they're they're niggas not limp stuff. noodle in the car. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <Just, laughs> yeah. Slap that nigga. That nigga will be like, turn the window up. Oh. Right. That nigga said, turn the window up. What? Oh. Nigga, oh. when you fuck with right. street drugs, oh, Wait, yeah. I don't want to say crack. But okay. they said the man was fucking with crack. Well, I don't know. That's just 
Yeah. I've seen that I in magazines. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah. know what he fucking with, but I know but that the fuck with street there, drug. Though, look. The, the prostitutes there, though, said that it was, and even the owner of the ranch said that it was all Viagra mixed with, what was it? What they alcohol? said it was some type of herbal Viagra. A herbal Viagra, which he could have bought from anywhere. He should have went to the damn Jamaicans and got some you peanut know? punch. Listen, it wasn't no <laughs> peanut punch. Yeah, I'm on peanut punch. I have your big man stand up strong. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, that New York Viagra. Right? <laughs> from the crowd of Babylon Viagra. Yeah, from one big peanut punch. <laughs> Some Irish moss. <laughs> you know what that is? The what? Did yeah, they yeah, all know? Punch. Jamaicans make peanut yeah. punch, man. They, they take a big old clump of peanut butter, <laughs> a raw egg, and Guinness... Guinness uh, beer, <laughs> dark beer, and throw some ginseng. Uh, y'all, man, I keep y'all strong all night. <laughs> big man, man, watch a big peanut punch. Two. Yeah, have two fat girl tonight. Oh. Now I two. <laughs> two fat girls. You have two fat girl. I need a big bucket of peanut punch. I put it on them. <laughs> put it on them. Put it on them. It was a wine in it. It was a wine in it. You should fuck with some Jamaicans. They just have a peanut punch, oh. Irish moss. That's another one. Well, what? speaking of oh, peanut oh, punch, shit. maybe Victor Cruz was on Hold the on. peanut punch. Can we can we get on oh. the Victor Cruz shit? I just gotta oh, say God, this yes. about what I heard about Lamar oh. Odom. No, no, no. You mean about <laughs> Homeboy? Coming, oh. to, they all came came to visit. I heard, um, you know, Chloe is fucking with Harden. I heard. Right. Oh, you got something on that? No, no, no. I didn't get. I didn't hear anything. I was actually gonna say it was kind of crickets out there. Nobody had heard. And nobody. Nothing was said about Harden. Like, what's going on with him? Like, is he? Is he is, fucking is, with Chloe? Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? And, yeah. and 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 people were saying like, if she fucking with Harden, she shouldn't be going out there to go see this motherfucker. And my whole thing is this, man. If you fucking with a Kardashian, goddammit, mm-hmm. exclusivity is not to be expected. Ooh, right. Yeah. God damn it, that's to the public. Right, that's they our bitch. Everybody. These bitches is in the public domain. Oh it was the public that put them there, and it's a public that will monitor them. Right. Whatever I, we wish. Oh, so you didn't really hear it, because everybody was saying how nobody, he hasn't said any comment, Nobody, the, nobody's made any comment about She had to go check on that paper. Wow. If Lamar would have died, she would have inherited the $50 million estate. He has $50 million? And you yes. notice that he doesn't... Have, yeah, That's what they said. Because he's still getting the, um, the... What is it that they get the, the security from the uh, NBA? Well, he, and he has he, two children. They say he's worth $50 million. The, the divorce is not final. They final. Never, yeah, they never... Uh, They're uh, legally still married. He, they still if fucking... That dude, she wasn't going to check on him. Well, I, ain't go, I can't say that. I don't know what she was going to check on, but she was definitely going to check and on that paper. It, Get that paper straight because <laughs> right. I know what marriage means and I know what they got rights over and all everybody else find out later on. And they exp- and they've been releasing the pictures of those the hookers the prostitutes the two that found them. Oof. Right. That dude, that she dude who owned that brothel, has hung out in front of the Improv on Melrose with that other porno dude that was on your show, Zoe. Oh. Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. I seen them hanging out in front of the improv. Mm-hmm. I'm not knocking him. Nice. I'm just saying. But you could tell he the homie where, you know, the mm-hmm. white boy where you want to go kick it at his spot and do whatever the fuck you want to do on the nod outside. He going to make it. He going to make it. He going to set it up for you. On the nod outside of the game, man. On the narcolepsy side of the game. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. You know <laughs> we all know because niggas don't go to motherfucking... Nevada to, to fuck? Yeah, you don't know. $75,000 in two nights. Right, you have the, oh. you have, he got the motherfucking shit cleared out for you where you can do what you want to do. Mm. Ain't nobody talking you about that white You want to lick some ass on? Okay, you want hairy ass? I got you. Oh. <laughs> get him some, um, get him, <laughs> get him the aggro ass bitch. Right. And a hairy ass. <laughs> you sure you don't want the shaved ass? I got some shaved asses around here that's pink and a no, motherfucker. No, he wants the You want that hairy ass, Sasquatch. okay. Yeah. Get Lamar hairy ass in here. <laughs> Want to lick some hair? Yeah, some cocaine on the hair. Right, goddammit. Put that nod off ass in there. <laughs> oh, All right, let's, let's let's leave from there, poor thing. Okay, okay. God damn it. Well, like I said, the the, the what was it? The peanut butter. It's training okay. there. Yeah. Well, <laughs> peanut punch, peanut butter punch. I'm glad Lamar is better. Yeah, we are. Cause yes. that joke I did. On the Shaq thing about oh, Chloe about her and running across the stage, but that was all. That was earlier, Corey. That was earlier. Right. I, I didn't mean no harm by that. That was a joke. 
I don't know them people. I joke, but when it really boiled down to it, I ain't got no. I, I hope he pulled through. I was yeah. glad that yeah. yeah, he better. I definitely didn't want him yeah, to that's die. That's a miracle. Man. That's like no, yeah. All right, so on to Victor Cruz. <clears throat> so it's uh, <laughs> uh, you know, he got busted by his longtime girlfriend slash fiance. Um, she uh, apparently sent a group text to the Instagram mistresses. Uh, <clears throat> the, the group text says, and if you don't know who Victor Cruz is, he's the New York Giants wide receiver. Um, so she sent this text to all of them, a group text one, and then a couple of them had all hit his side hole. all the side chicks, and they're claiming that there's a total of 200. And that's why I said he's got the peanut Man, butter. Shit, that nigga dance in the end zone when he get that motherfucker. That, them hoes be like, he can dance. <laughs> he know how it go in. You yeah. in the NFL. If you can dance and you in the NFL, hey, he better be dance. thinking of being in that Motel 6 salsa with that nigga. No, why am I? I can keep the room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look. This is this is the message that this is the message that Elena sent to these girls. Her name's Elena Watley. Is that and, her name? Yeah, I gave you a picture of the two of them together. Oh, you got a picture? Of them? Yeah, both of them. Him and uh, the fiance what slash. Look like? I mean, what she look like? Uh, uh -oh, this is the go. message. It said, "Hello, ladies. This is Elena, Victor Cruz's fiance. Look you at her. <laughs> you What's all, wrong with her, wait, Corey? Listen, you Man, you don't know, see crazy bitch in that uh, picture. Wait. wait. <laughs> There's other pictures where she's smiling yeah. and she looks a little softer. And Don't you got a she team got crazy Samoan bitch jaw in that picture? Yeah, yeah she so does. I was just thinking that. She, she got, got a Samoan pictures. jaw. Look at some other pictures. That no, bitch for, got oh. that she motherfucking got the, uh, Hellboy jaw. American <laughs> dad jaw. Shut <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck. Okay, let me finish this message because I'm know what they say when they argue at each other. Okay, she's just a jaw ass in the room. Hello, lady. Let me spit these walnuts out for Oh, my God. This is Elena. Y'all cold, Victor but this Cruz's is man's fiance. fiance. Hey, listen. Well, they already have a three-year-old daughter together. He don't. <laughs> you all know about me, and I seem to be the topic of conversation in all of your conversations with Victor. I'm sure he's told you many of things about us and how we don't how we don't exist as one. But given the fact that you all meet him in hotel rooms only, we all know that's a lie. Just as he tells me, you all are whores and mean nothing to him. I figured since you all know about me, then I should introduce each one of you to each other. So she group text, so they're all connected, so they can see the other names. So we can all know who we all have been fucking for the past several years. <laughs> but wait, what's, it, what's hella funny when they do shit <laughs> like that is wait. She's going to stay with him. So of how, course. Yeah, how are you going to send these girls all She's got ghost juice from 200 yeah, pussies up in her. If that ain't the lamest move, that's messy. women do that. That's very messy. <laughs> that's messy. That's so messy. Whether Jeez. I'm in the wrong or not, I'll be like, what are you doing talking to these bitches? <laughs> <laughs> what kind Wait, of person are you? How would you handle Let's go. I'm just saying, no, that's fucked <laughs> up. Hey, hey, what are you doing right. talking to motherfuckers you don't know? That's some very insecure shit. That's right. Well, you're for not, one, they've all sent me walnuts. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going off on him. You're going off on them. Big League Chew job, bitch. <laughs> right. Remember that Big League Chew rapper? Right. <laughs> Dig it. Oh <laughs> you remember that shit? Yeah, she'll take oh. a plug out of right. a big plug of tobacco. Right. <laughs> and now I'm going to text you bitches. <laughs> Oh needs to go God. help the oh Cubs God. win. Oh my God! And after God. I'm done, I'm gonna bite his iPhone in half. Right. You guys don't. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh Y'all don't think she's a cute girl? No, she's Who? cute. She's pretty. Is she's she? Pretty. Not in that picture. Show no, me another gave, picture. No, well, wait. No. Y'all done picture. named her well, Lockjaw no. and all types of right. shit. Right. I hate Trap to go jaw. there, but no, some of the other ones Anvil don't look jaw. that good because when she got right. pregnant, because a lot of times when you get pregnant, a lot of prominent features on you really get bigger. So, so maybe some of the old ones got the Bobby Brown jaw and that picture right you know, there god damn it. if she oh, got the bobby god. brown jaw the furniture would be rearranged <laughs> <laughs> what's that song he sang with ja rule when he came Please. back and Please. i know you want more <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> victor what you on dog that's god. fucked up this must damn be immaculate for you to choose god damn it Some a moment. pelican <laughs> over all these bad ass bitches out here <laughs> Oh, this bitch, this nigga got a, right. this nigga got a pelican at the crib. 
Nice job. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, really quick. The Polynesian. We'll look at uh, this. Well, let's move this on bitch, to, 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 to. This bitch got a Chanel bag mouth in this bitch. Chanel Holy bag moly, mouth. God. This bitch right. get through Fresh paying for delivery. shit. Bitch, put a wallet in her mouth, goddamn it! <laughs> fuck. <laughs> All right, really quick, because I don't want to. We fucking with you, Victor. Don't get mad. He's gonna be mad, man. Pretty. And the daughter. He's a wide receiver, <laughs> nigga. What? Come up the middle, He's nigga. A... <laughs> Come up the middle, Come nigga. Up the middle, nigga. Stop. Anyway, uh, really be coming up the middle. They called her Jay Leno. They just oh, going. Jay Leno. Oh, that's terrible. Somebody. It's on that bitch wall. Be like. Damn it! All right, I don't want to stay on this story too long, but I'm. I'm gonna hit on it because everybody was requesting. Stop uh, sending bitches information, bitch. Yeah, that's that, yeah, that's not that's not a player move, especially you're gonna stay down with him. I don't get that. Anyway. Oh, uh, shit. The the, uh, the damn Louisville uh, sex party wow. allegations. Uh, Rick Patino seems to be throwing uh, the brother Andre McGee, and I sent you a picture of both of them. But anyway, he's throwing him under the bus, saying that he knew nothing of it. Um, the main hooker or excuse me alleged stripper went on espn and spoke about it and has proof that she was given ten thousand dollars to go get some of the other strippers <clears throat> and pass their puss out well there you go but it's interesting because he's claiming and this and mind you rick P patino has no cool background he's been through some some stuff back in 2009. How did they pay the hoe? Look at that bitch they got. Is that the bitch? That's on the show. She was <laughs> on ESPN doing the show. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Trish was, Ann. There she is. She was on Outside the Lines. Damn. No wonder wow. they didn't get all the recruits they wanted. Look well. at And, yeah, and then she, and another, a player, an actual player that was recruited by them, uh, didn't want to show his face, Trick. of course. It is is claiming that yes, the parties were so bad that it seemed like you were in a strip club, and he claims that he was actually given money so that he could actually give them to the. Um, but I strippers. will say this: these guys, these coaches, mm -hmm. they're they're really savvy in doing things without doing them, so they don't get in trouble. I mean, they could say, "You do whatever you got to do mm -hmm. to get this recruit." Now, I don't want to know what you're doing. Plausible deniability. And that's probably what happened with Patino, though, right? Is but he... if you know, if you say do what you got to do, you leave that up for the other person who's doing it to describe or define what they're going to do. And he goes, "Well, don't tell me." And that would be know. Andre McGee, the brother. Remember the, remember the dude from um, Seattle who used to play for them when they won the championship? The little mm -hmm. young point guard. Uh -uh, what was it? How soon we forget? Oh damn! Wait, which kid? This motherfucker. He, I think he played Out for of the Louisville? Pistons. Yeah, he went to um, he went to Louisville. How many years ago? Remember when they won the championship? Mm -hmm. Oh, you talking about Russ? Russ? Just a couple of years ago, right? Yeah, the look, look Asian looking um quick nigga. Oh no, I don't. Uh -uh. Oh. He's Samoan. <clears throat> His dad might be Samoan. He played for Rick Patino, the Louisville Cardinals. How soon we forget? I, I just can't think kid. of his name. Uh -huh. He was he was really fast. Remember when and they won the championship? But what happened to him? What was the story though? I'm just What's saying it? he seems like a party kid. Oh, so okay. So I'm not shocked, but to the to the kid who tricked, right. I would not want that to be my son. Yeah. Mm, yeah. No, it wasn't Russ Smith. Russ Smith is a baller. He just yeah. left maybe a year ago. That's what I'm talking about, right? Is that well, his name? I don't think it was Russ. Say, but they're trying to break he, every. They're trying to break the whole story down. It's still ongoing. Silva, Peyton that, Silva. Is it Silva? It's is still that, ongoing because they're they're. Um, my son they're, had an offer from Louisville. Uh -oh. oh yeah. Well, your uh -oh. son should have went, went there. Went to one of them parties, he would have had he would have had the stinky jaw when them hoes got you through with him. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I don't think nothing wrong with having motherfucking sex parties. God damn it! That's but how you, you, you teach your you, son you can't about do it for the recruits, though. That's true, but that's why they were doing it. You teach the your son. NCAA is real and strict, and they're handlers, so that means family. That's what they were saying. So it, did, yeah. it went beyond. You teach that. your son about safe sex, and you ain't got to worry about all that bullshit. You got to let him know. Look, look, okay. look, you homie. Got your rubbers, boy. If you if you <laughs> out here if you out here like that, and they got imported pussy, not earned pussy, mm. imported pussy. Right. You can't. Hit that raw. That's what I tell my son. But I mean, this is an unorthodox point of view. I get that. Mm. A sex party. If your son was recruited because of the sex parties, that means you know what I'm saying. 
what they say about the parents. I don't think they're the worst people in the world either. They did say the guardian of one of the recruits got some ass ass too. too. Right. Dad get the dad and son fucked together. That's a bonding process. Fuck these hoes. (laughs) Son, we got to fuck these hoes tonight. But not on your official visit (laughs) to a college. You don't do that. Hey, man, look. Because because, because look at the end result. I think somebody didn't get no money. Cause otherwise, oh, why why is the hooker not why is the hooker talking? Something Cause his dick wouldn't get hard. Something's about he was at the party and he ain't do number. He pussy. He couldn't fuck, so he told <laughs> that boy who told is an ain't shit motherfucker. <laughs> and he should not be amongst the men. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause he did fuck up their little routine. Because apparently up, that's been going on. That. Rick yeah. Pitino, um, get well, that pussy for you. But Rick uh, Pitino has come out. And categorically denied, denied it, yeah. And he told ha- the dude, tell the truth. And wait, it, oh, he yeah. has to. He's doing yeah. exactly. Look, <laughs> this is nothing new. Yeah. Tell this the truth. Is, this is going to go on again and again and again because that's the system. And the guy, is, Andre man. McGee, the Don't brother, the like other coach, the he's system. been on leave. He's been on administrative leave for something else, for recruiting stuff. Probably. Somebody need to take the L for it. We're going to give you a little behind the dope package. <laughs> a little piece of change. God damn it. We ain't about to let this little no fucking nigga. Lift no fucking recruit. I'm Fuck scared. Of, I'm scared of pussy. God damn it! Every man in this world and fucked a right whore. Passage. It's a right of passage. Anyway, here we go. It's true. Well, uh, not every man. Most men fuck a whore at least once. I'm talking about a real whore, a bitch where the spirit of the other nigga you can still smell it. The spirit of the other, <laughs> the spirit of the other nigga still getting dressed in the room. No, the Why does the room smell like mad Bro. dog? Right. <laughs> the nigga's spirit is still getting dressed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> His nigga's spirit ain't left the room yeah. yet. Enjoy yourself. Fuck. <laughs> you smell the sheets and shit. You be like, hey, oh. this nigga's here. Anyway. Right. It's an All athletic right. nigga. <laughs> Last thing. Uh, I smell Jordan feet. Ew. <laughs> That's got to be bad. Anyway, uh, Ebony Magazine is about to release their November cover. And I don't know if you've seen it, I sent you the picture. Um, and everybody's, uh, I should have, says Ebony cover. Um, everybody's tripping uh, because it is over the old Cosby cast and it's shattered glass and the break is right over Cosby's face. That's pretty accurate. And there you go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and so people are kind of tripping off of it. Some people are like, okay, good. Mm-hmm. And it's going to have, an, it's gonna have a, a, an article inside not a lot of people have seen it yet, but they're saying it's just breaking down certain things. And they call the article Cosby versus Cliff. You know, Cliff Huxtable. Cliff was a so, goddamn character. You know what? You see? So we'll <laughs> see. But speaking of Cosby, during the uh, this weekend, <laughs> during this weekend on Sunday, Eddie Murphy received the Mark Twain Award. Yeah. Did you hear about that? So a lot of people present for that. Everybody's excited. A lot of people spoke about him. Uh, Tracy Morgan got a standing ovation as he said that if it wasn't for Eddie, who's his comedic hero, <laughs> yeah, he's the reason he's into comedy and the reason he has a job and the reason everybody has careers that are in comedy. Uh, anyway, Eddie actually got up and when he got the received the uh, award, um, he said that he was uh, tremendously honored. And then in Bill Cosby voice, because Bill Cosby already received the award several years back, he said in his in a Bill Cosby voice, he said, man, you know, shit is bad. You know, you've messed up when they want you to give this back, because I guess that same uh, uh, award. When they start going after your awards. He goes, you know, shit's bad when they want you to give the award back. But he said it in like Bill Cosby's voice. So this airs. It airs November 23rd on PBS Network. They don't edit what they don't. No, they, they, they edit shit not out. Edit that. You they, think so? You what think they that? edit what they want to edit, right? <laughs> no, they're not, man, they can't, man. If they uh, listen, that, it's PBS. It's PBS. They're gonna edit it, man. man. Yeah, PBS. Not, they, they don't ever show the real shit. The only real shit they show was Jordan Hall of Fame speech. <laughs> and Which, that's it. If you bored, Google just Google Jordan Hall of Fame speech because that motherfucker let all them puss ass niggas have it. He put hey, he put everybody on blast. He didn't give a fuck. Wait, though, the dude it, that was, started before him when he got that cut, was that, that motherfucker was in the audience like that nigga right there. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker oh, went in. He went in. But um, that's hilarious. Yeah, because we got enough time. I mean, look, it's like a whole month away. Crazy. Everybody talking shit about Bill Cosby like he a bad guy now. It just show how fickle people is. 
people are. Mm-hmm. Man, they can fucking shit on me at any time. Mm-hmm. They can say, Corey did this. And in the media, I'm a bad guy. Right. That's why, you know what I'm saying? I take all this shit with a grain of salt, man. Sure. They, do, every, it's, people see, are fickle. The thing about Bill, the thing about Bill is Bill was always one to come out and talk the shit. moral high ground. Uh. Wouldn't it be problem is, see, the whole thing in the gangs in LA is just about turf. Pound cake. <laughs> you see, it's about turf. talking. I'll never forget that. He was on our okay. on one of those shows. He said, the whole gang problem in LA is just all about turf. How stupid is turf? And it was just like, man, just shut up, nigga. Because you obviously <laughs> have no clue on what it is out oh here. Well, God. when when, when Eddie Murphy said Bill Cosby came at him with that bullshit about saying fuck in front of people, mm-hmm. right. I knew that Bill Cosby had issues. Louis Dix used to open for Bill Cosby. Yes. That's all I got to know. Louis, Not shitting on Louis no, Dix, Louis. but I'm saying, you know, Louis is intricate. <laughs> and it's a, a complex trip. brother. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's and like. It, it's a trip. He's a smart Lewis brother, Dix. too. I'm yeah. going to tell you, though, it's a real trip for me because the first time I saw Louis Dix, he was opening for Robin Harris. Louis was large. Wow. And he was. His comedy at that point underneath Robin Harris, yo, he blew my mind. Funny. Mm. Louis Dix. That shit was. Remember he went off on Noel? Yes. <laughs> uh, <who? laughs> One of our homies, man. Oh, uh, he did that a lot of times, though. I don't think he did oh, that. man. He just went in on this nigga. Like, off the dome. It Louis was terrible. Yeah. Destroyed him. Destroyed him, man. Like, what did he say? I think him I and can't his, remember. This nigga had a, had on a, a wool coat. Like, a, you know, the Levi jackets with the wool. He said, and this fat nigga right here looks like he has an actual sheepdog around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> he says some shit like what? that. See, this is what I'm saying. This Lewis is what, was going I want to say this about Louis Dix. <laughs> See, I met Louis Dix as he was, as he was um, um, maturing, being away from the streets type of thing. He mm. had been married. Mm. TV. You know how that shit Life take changes. you away yeah, it's from everything? It's a and different you, reality. Yeah. You become different. Right. I met the different Louis Dix. You see what I'm saying? Right. Right. But I bet Louis Dix... When he was younger, mm-hmm. where you speak from Ooh, the heart, yeah. right. you feel like I don't got nothing to lose. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the Louis Dix that I was. That I, I can imagine. First. I can imagine when you say that, Free. Man. But I'm saying, like, I met the Louis Dix that's nice to people that you shouldn't be nice to. You get what I'm saying when no, I, I say that? I understand what you mean. Yeah. I've seen him smile with motherfuckers where I'll be like, the fuck is you smiling with this motherfucker fuck? Right. Mm. That's my point I'm trying yeah, to make. Yeah, he's good dude, though. Louis is, he's good dude. He's a nice. young Louis Dix who probably don't give a fuck. Where Louis Dix from? Ain't he from D.C. or Baltimore No, he's from, yeah. he from Philly. Philly? Yeah, yeah he's from Philly. A Philly brother, man. I see that in him. Yeah. I see that in him. But let me tell you something about this Hollywood shit. Yeah, this Hollywood will this twist shit will your ass, boy. Say it again. This Hollywood will twist your ass. See me? I'm going to tell you, you know, I'm on this show. That's about all I do. You don't see Freeze Loving movies. You don't see me on TV. Because you know why? Fuck Hollywood, nigga. I don't give a fuck about okay, Hollywood. Take it easy. Don't beat no, them don't. up. <laughs> don't. I'm from here. Fuck Hollywood, nigga. Hollywood to me is a place <laughs> I would come when I was 13, 14, 12, 7, 8. This is, this is, business is business. If you bring the goods, you should be able to work. If you got to create your own work, that's what you do. And guess what? That's That's really what Hollywood is. No one's putting you on out here. Mm. Let me say this. Putting you on. You gotta get on, Mm -hmm. and then they get on you. Let me say this to what what you say, Free. Know that. That's real. There's a young man who got a job doing the Daily Show. Oh yeah. Homeboy, I talked about him. Remember when he got? Yeah, I talked about him when he got that position. A whack ass fucking comic got a job. He was fuck the fuck that South African dude. Right. Right. Let's talk about this real shit. Motherfuckers talk about he funny, but nigga, we out here. Mm. He a hack. Yeah, I've only seen him. A lot of people were upset. I spoke about it. Remember, a lot of people were upset when he was given that because they were like, "What?" He's a fucking hack. So for the listeners, Hollywood don't go out. A hack is a motherfucker who watch other people act, Mm. right? And then they do it because they have the outlet where people see them do it. You mean like Amy Schumer using Patrice Patrice O'Neill's jokes? Yeah. Got it. Bullshit. Well, All these motherfuckers that Hollywood are putting on, they know that if we throw it in the public face, that's who the public gonna think is the shit. Right. Mm-hmm. But I know this motherfucker ain't even ready for no motherfucking show. Trevor even, Noah. That's Trevor Noah. Name. But that's see, name, yeah. but see, here's the thing. I don't thing. know the nigga. If he spoke to me, it'd be awkward. But he looks like <laughs> he looks like Don Lemon. He spoke about he that looks when like that happened. Barack Obama. 
He's got the 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 look that of neutered what is hot right now. Yeah, that soft spoken, light skin, hand packed nigga, black male. Yeah, because it was like everybody was in shock. Like, why? The <laughs> light skin, it? koi African. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I talk about South African. Koi African. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying no, this true. Hollywood shit. It's like they got so many channels. They need talent. Yeah, a lot of people. But they, they don't want to look for talent no more. Mm -mm. They they anoint. A right. motherfucker that ain't ready. That's a, yeah. And they just hope the people eat it up. Right. Right. And and guess what? The people do eat it up. Because they, they don't guard know. them. They see you see this motherfucker enough and, and you hear this guy is the he's the cat's meow. And it keeps <laughs> exactly. showing this motherfucker. You start yeah. telling people, you know, the cat's meow. He's the funniest ever. It's like, yeah. Because they've been bombarded right that. Now. That's all it is. And, and the thing about niggas like that, I get a bad name. Because mm. see, a motherfucker huh. like Trevor Noah walk up to me. Hey, what's up, Corey, man? I always, whatever, whatever the fuck. And I just be, they could see, I'm like. <laughs> You're not going to smile with him, huh? Nigga, what the, fuck is you, what the fuck is you talking about, nigga? You think I don't see through that shit? Right. You're trying to see who I am. Mm -hmm. Homie, mm -hmm. I'm not the one. I will approach you. I'm not Superman. I'm an old nigga who wear fucked up jackets. But I got the heart of a lion, nigga. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Nigga, don't steal me out with that. Hey, man, how you? I, these, these goofy ass you niggas walk up on me that ain't put in no work in life, but they on TV. Right. So they think that gives them the right to walk up to you and be like, Hey, what's up, man? Right. Big respect, woo, woo, woo. I'll be like, nigga, you ain't shit. <laughs> you ain't you shit, nigga. Right, nigga. Are you around people that'll tell you, hey, man, that's part of the game. Just do it. Yeah, that's what all the big greats, that's what the greats do. They steal from each other. No, they don't. No, they don't. It's bullshit. Well, you they know, create. Amy Schumer, she just did um, the Apollo who? The, the white girl. Uh, is that the bitch who did her set at the Apollo? Yeah. Well, That's how the world came where a bitch could pull that shit off at right. the at Apollo. At the Apollo. Because they will put the audience out there. Exactly. Just like they did with me on Last Comic Standing. These motherfuckers went and put the audience out there and was like, we don't want him to win. Don't I laugh. I never said that before, but it's the truth. Right, right, I was right. like, stage, man. did they? No, they're coerced. They're they cold. shot they're the cold shit like the, the room yeah. was full. Right. You know how they do? Damn. The room wasn't even full. They put out the real audience mm -hmm. and had the motherfucking audience, you know, like studio owners that they may clap yeah, and all yeah. that shit. That's mm -hmm. what they the put out there. Too, right. All this shit is phony, man. It's it's Damn. It's smoke and mirrors. It, nothing's new. This isn't they didn't just start doing this. Mm -hmm. They've been doing it from the beginning. They put a new twist on everything. Even reality TV. There was never any real TV. Mm -mm. It was always somewhat scripted, driven. Yeah. Oh, even the reality no, TV is, is scripted. It is. It's all. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah even reality thing. TV is scripted. I get it. People don't get it. They don't and know. even if you do show it real, and even if they do film the real, guess what? <laughs> that motherfucker goes through the process of editing. That's right. You understand? And you don't have when a I did either. Def Jam, this is way back when I did Jeff, Def Jam in '95. They cut it up. Man, not only did they cut it up, they took the audience that I had and put it on. Three different people's audience. Oh, I know. Oh, you know the reactions. The yeah, I know. What? Wow. That's that's editing. That's what right. they do. Yeah. This goes on today, right now. Anytime you see a HBO special of a wow. someone, you see that's that audience. They they they. It's it's production. Do you understand? And it was this reason, comic named Shucky Ducky. I remember who that. Who did too. who did Def Comedy Jam one year? So years later. He came back and did Def Comedy Jail. And he did the exact same set he did from years back again. Mm. And the audience remembered it because that Shucky Ducky shit was catchy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Chris Rock was hosting. And he went out there after he got through bombing and shit. And Chris Rock was like, Shucky Ducky needs some jokey wokies. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't show that on TV. Oh, no. But that's what they needed to show. Yeah. The real shit. Yeah. Man, but speaking you know of that, crazy Sam, uh, you don't even know crazy. And that's a goddamn shame. Crazy, crazy Sam, Sam, crazy Sam was in House Party Three with me. Remember the dude that came in and he had the dreads. He said, "I'm looking for something to eat." Get, yeah, he, he ate, ate the records. records. That's Crazy Sam. Crazy Sam is one of the dopest comedians out of New York. Hmm. Okay, he's out of the Bronx, I believe. Yeah. He used to, yo, Crazy Sam is, is buck wild. People in New York know him. When he did Def Jam, he, he pulled an AK. 
A you real AK? Is this gonna laugh at me or you gonna get wasted? You know? <laughs> he had a real yeah. AK? It was a toy AK. Oh. Yeah. Okay, but, but still that's that's the a real reaction was real. People laughed, it was for real. it was it was <laughs> what he did. It was wow. Def Comedy Jam. <laughs> right. You'll never see that one. Mm. Look for that one. Look for the crazy Sam. If oh man, let me this, tell you something yo. about Def Comedy Jam. When they filmed it out here in LA, I had a t shirt on with a picture of uh, uh, me back slapping a girl with her lips going this way and it was blinged out and they had the word discipline on top of the shirt. Oh my you know, I, I thought it was funny. That bitch ass nigga Russell Simmons was like, hey man, if you wear that, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have you on the show. Are, are you doing the lisp and everything? I was looking like, what? <laughs> I didn't even know what to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, man. if I wear this, you don't know if I could do the show. And I ain't gonna lie, I took it off. Yeah. Yeah. Cause mm -hmm. he he told you to take it off, nigga. You didn't come out there to, to not do the show. I was shocked. You know, shit Cause up. you know, I had never met Russell. But you know what I'm saying? When you mm. tape Def Comedy Jam, you see all them male makeup artists and all this shit. You know he a <laughs> sis ass nigga. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. If he was in front of me, I'd be like, you know, Corey, you Corey, Corey right. that's uncalled for. Okay. That is uncalled okay, for. Okay, it might be uncalled for. You don't have for. to go there with. Listen, listen. Right, but you have I'm, called I'm for still dick in your room. I'm still hip hop, Corey. Right, that's uncalled for. I wouldn't give a fuck. The that moisture is, is dripping off your ass. Well, can, get, give me a towel then. Don't don't make right. fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> I do yoga. This is uncalled for. Now you're Mike Tyson. I was Tyson. like, I was, <laughs> not really uh, that kind uh, of time. Homie, no, look. So I've always had these niggas is stupid. As I've always have. had that little grudge against Russell Simmons from that day because he didn't know me. You know what I'm saying? It's his show. What the fuck I'ma do? But I'm like, oh, this hey, man. bitch ass you know, nigga. Yo, Dick Clark told Dice Clay at MTV Awards. <laughs> he says, "Hey, I know your shtick. I know what you do. You know, tic tac toe, whores in a row. Yeah, yeah. This is MTV. This is America." He's an American teenager. Is that when he went off and he actually went? He said, I'm telling you right now, don't do any of it, okay? Keep it clean. We'll have a great show. Dice is like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I know Look. what he says. He says, listen, listen. If you do that, you're finished. You're done. Kaput. You understand? I'm not playing with you. That's Dick Clark, too, because I heard about how aggressive went out he was. There, looked at the audience, looked at Dick <laughs> Clark. Dick Clark was like, Okay <laughs> now. This nigga was like Hickory he Dickory Dickory Die <laughs> Some bitch was sucking my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he did that shit. Woo. Hey, before he did that, Dice was selling out stadiums. After he did that shit, Dice was at the comedy store. Damn! Yeah, Back no, that's how much pull. Home Shut it down. Yeah. But Dick Clark, Dick Clark, producer. when he did that New Year's Eve, that year uh -oh, he was sick. That's fucked oh, up. Stop. Here oh, we go. Oh. I was at the crib. That was the funniest <laughs> TV I ever <laughs> seen in my life. That's like this motherfucker is so that selfish. So right. This nigga was on TV like, yeah, I wasn't even drunk yet. I was like. <laughs> this no. motherfucker won't sit down. <laughs> when, it's, when, it, when it's your time to let it go, no. it's your time no. to let it go. This nigga, this nigga, coming up. Pause. This nigga is finna die. This nigga is finna die on TV. Right. Did they you? Told him, <laughs> you know they told him. You know they told him. said, Mr. Clark. Oh, that show I how much power he got, work. Freeze. <laughs> that show how much power he got. They told him. I don't think this is going to work, Mr. Clark. And he said, I don't, I don't think, think right. you're going to work. Do you really work <laughs> this week? This nigga better die. These niggas. Die. That's that's I was counting down his <laughs> death. They thought I was counting down New Year's Eve. I was like, five. <laughs> four. Oh, <laughs> this nigga finna die on TV. <laughs> that nigga was on Come TV. on. Stop. It was his show. It's he a do new he year. And they I called him you. Sick Clark. <laughs> no. 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 Oh. Hey, man. When that oh, nigga was on TV. Too much pull, baby. <laughs> that Dick was lamp. That's the case of too much power. 
<laughs> Other being behind the scenes, yep. we know. Yeah. Somebody had to <laughs> let him go on TV like that. Right. They won't let you do that. They couldn't tell you. You get no. real no, juice to, oh, yeah. to be on your dying bed. <laughs> yeah. This nigga was on a bed and talking about the bed group. <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> dude. Right. Dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Oh, yeah, exactly. fuck that, this nigga man. finna die. Oh, yeah. oh. They let old Shit. boy Ryan Seacrest come on there after a while. He <laughs> was like, this motherfucker is backstage for the uh, get an IV put in. But uh, oh my god, the next group coming out. <laughs> I was like, god, wow, damn. little underscore wow. Richard Ten. No, so Stroke Clark. Oh, god. oh fuck, my god, hey, exactly right. They're Chris going Rock. to hell. Somebody said you're going Chris to hell. Chris Rock. In a hand, and Dave Chappelle going to hell. In a hand <laughs> gave you mad love. Yes, that was so great. On Did you see Chris that? Rock's podcast, I thought that was a um, Q-Tip's no, podcast. But, Who's, it was Q-Tip's yeah, it, podcast. It podcast, but Q-Tip but they gave you hell of love. Well, they followed through when Q-Tip brought him up. You saw that. that they, was, they, they, when they mentioned Corey Holcomb, it was nothing but love. And it's awkward for me because I'm a, I'm a modest guy. Oh but God, I, I like, I like the fact that um, Chris Rock. And, um, you know, Dave Chappelle, Dave. people of that caliber, you know, even know who I am. Like I yeah. said, man, I was standing in front of the motherfucking Laugh Factory, and Eddie Murphy walked up to me and was like, Corey Hogan. I was like, damn, nigga, you know me? <laughs> <laughs> what up, holy <laughs> shit? You what know up, what I mean? man? <laughs> I'm like, fuck all that shit. I this mean, Eddie no, they said, they said for you to be on the West Coast in L.A., they was like, Chris was like, he should move Because I don't New go York. up in the rooms out here. They was like, he should move to New York. He should move to New York. You know how it is in New York, Freeze. You can work out. They got rooms yeah. that are set up for yeah. the veterans. Exactly. This ain't amateur night at the Apollo every night type rooms. They don't have that in L.A. In L.A., they get all hack it's rooms. It's all rigged, exactly. It's, it's, all it's, it's, let me tell you. New York versus L.A. L.A. is, um, L.A., the people come to the show to see who's at the show. Right. That's an L.A. thing. It's mm, audience yeah. shit. Yeah. They trying to rub elbow. Oh, I'm going to sit next to Shaq. Now, if Shaq laugh, I'm going to laugh. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's that kind of <laughs> shit. Whereas in New York, it's the, it's the average person. It's a person that's been at work all day. They don't give a fuck. They, they won't give you laugh. a pass. No, nah, they're right. not. If you're not. The only motherfucker like, i ever seen them give a pass was Seinfeld. Seinfeld was oh, up Jerry, there yeah, eating a the whole off. dick. That motherfucker wasn't funny what? for shit. <laughs> and they would not boo him. I was like, boy, this motherfucker is getting a pass. Because, man, everybody in the room was like this. Hey, it is Seinfeld. Hey, it's Seinfeld. <laughs> it is Seinfeld. The TV said he was funny. Uh, <laughs> did you hear that? Where was it? The where TV was it said he was funny. Where did you see him? Gotham. At Gotham. You see, Gotham, Gotham is in Midtown. That's in, that's in the city. That's in Manhattan. You, when you go to New York, you want to go out. Yeah, you want to get in. You want to get in the little room. Chris said you should come to New York and get the nerdy comedy. That's what his statement was. Get nerdy, nerd hey, look, comedy. Man, I've been and to then New Dave, York. Dave said, "You heard it, right? He's not you somebody I would want to follow." I've been to New York, homie. I love going in them hood rooms. That's not niggas from America hood. Yeah, we, I I'm did talking one of about those with you. Them Jamaican niggas, yeah, mm. them yeah. motherfuckers hate unfunny. <laughs> what they call niggas from America? Yankee boy, man. Uh, Yankee, the bumble cloud Yankee. Y'all for say something funny now. <laughs> Yankee boy. Man, don't make me giggle. Real talk. <laughs> <laughs> to make I don't, giggle. yeah, man, me don't snicker. Me don't giggle, chuckle. Me do none of them. <laughs> I want I'm on money back right now. Yeah. <laughs> this man a bullshit or ass clad young kid. No. One of my proudest moments in New York was when I had my little CDs. You know, you sell CDs, try to get your hustle on. Mm -hmm. the man, them, them little garbage ass comics was like, man, they don't buy that shit out here. Oh. Nigga, they bought all that shit from me. <laughs> <laughs> they bought all my CDs. And shit. them niggas was watching with their oh, mouth open. Yep. I felt so good. <laughs> I was like, you garbage motherfuckers. <laughs> Why you think you me? Uh, uh -huh. You not me, homie. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, Just because you, your path is what it is, it ain't the same as my path. Mm -hmm. I hustle CDs and it, it, this was a tavern, like I said, Not nigga. Not a tavern? Was Mimi yeah. there? This nigga yeah. sitting up there like this. <laughs> I mean, who the fuck is this nigga? More ale, Lynch. Right. Who is this nigga <laughs> they got up here? 
<laughs> hey, but look, on the other hand, though, too, when you rip it, you know you earned it, and they give it up tremendously. Yeah. If you funny, if New York will love you. But if you're not. If you're not, oh my God. get the kill fuck you. down. You, you Out here, they won't man. boo you quick. Oh, hell no. No, it takes one like brave soul, and next thing everybody else follows. Out yeah. here, they'd be like, but he's on BET. Right. He didn't have to be that funny. It go back to that shit you right. said. It's a production. It's a production. Right. They yeah. used to being in a production room where you don't boo, you clap. They have they have signs that says applause. Right. 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 Set up. We're filming. We're taping. Right. Back to one. All right. Let me hear a big <laughs> clap. Go. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these comments, they need to travel with an audience. Yeah. <laughs> they, they need clappers. Rig it, rig they need clappers. Yeah. Clappers, chucklers. Wow. Some of these HBO Are you a specials. Or a chuckler. I see the chuckler. We we need you up front. Darlene, did you see that lady who did that special on either Showtime or HBO with no shirt on? Cause she had breast cancer. Both her titties was gone. No. Oh hell no. Nah. No, but I see you didn't women see like this? that all the time though. When it happens. No. Oh my god. She was a the breast team. cancer survivor. survivor, I guess. But this bitch this is about was to go the bad. wackest comic I ever saw in my life. They let this bitch do 45 minutes of nothing because... Whoa, 45 minutes? Man, this 40, bitch's what? chest looked like the back of this throne. Yeah. Except it was pinker. Bruh. <laughs> she had a gimmick. This bitch had a chest like that vampire, that vampire in the last blade. Remember when he walked in that water? <laughs> that, that, I mean, walked in that... This bitch had the flattest chest on a woman I ever seen. And we not laughing at her struggle. Uh, you know, being a survivor of cancer is great. I mean, a cancer survivor is, is great. Yeah. But, bitch, you did not survive the comedy part. Your comedy died. Oh, my right. God. Right. They needed to cut that comedy out of her ass. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. What? The bitch, oh, the bitch sucked. The bitch sucked. Get her out of here. <laughs> Where's the shit? This bitch need comedy you? surgery. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to cut that comedy out of you. So you can get on with your life. <laughs> comedy <laughs> surgery, nigga. Right. We need a comedy dectomy. We got to cut this shit out of this bitch. Cut the comedy out of that bitch. God that bitch damn. Need, this bitch need to be selling Century 21. That's, oh this my bitch God. can wear a suit now that chest was so flat. <laughs> Jesus Christ, please. That motherfucker getting ready to mouth. cut up a suit, go across that chest. Be like, yeah, we got a. You better. Um, this shit is terrible. 24 in the chest play. <laughs> now they going in. I Comedy know. cancer. No, right. stop. I'm not listening. I'm not looking. Somebody Fuck. say, who is Baby D? A titty strap. Baby D from... <laughs> That's oh, what they say. God. Dolly look like Baby oh, I D. Oh, talking about uh, from um um. Oh my oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> that she should wear suit. Baby D, that's bitch. Self <laughs> century twenty one. This bitch no. titties look like Fetty Wap Eye. Wow. Stop. Why? She on stage with no shirt on. I'm not supposed to say nothing no, about well, the motherfucking. <laughs> this bitch is showing it. Supposed, she wanted you to say it. That doctor who sold her motherfucking chest up, that nigga was cold on his sewing game. That bitch line was perfect across there. Damn. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, flat stop. comedy. Flat no. comedy. Mm. What? Listen, I wear fuck I wear jackets for attention. Right? People go in. I love it. If I'm, if I'm on stage with no shirt on and people going in, right? I was asking for that. Yeah, you telling me I sure. can't talk about this bitch who titty? I'd say talk about it. Get it? She wanted you to. That bitch titty looked like somebody moved out an apartment and they got it ready for the next tenants. One shit on the floor. God, they got their a chest full was deposit. spotless. God damn it. They got their full deposit. This bitch had the new carpet chest. Man. New hardwood floors. This bitch had the Home Depot body. Linoleum chest. Right. Oh. <laughs> that bitch worked on her titty. They was ne <laughs> We're done. Jesus Christ. Damn. Okay, anyway. That bitch came out of that mother. Right. Give me some spackle. We'll pray for him. We'll pray for him. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> at a party night. Come on. You niggas gotta stop. I'm Remember right. that one? Yeah. That one. <laughs> stop it. When the predator had took his shit out, his chest was out. That's how that bitch chest looked. It was that color white. It was that predator chest white. Damn. 
I was like, this bitch is on stage with no shirt on and think I'm not going to say shit about it. <laughs> Titty Minaj. Titty Minaj. <laughs> what they call it? Lowe's surgery. Damn. Damn. This bitch, I, was, I, I never thought that they could sew your chest up like that. Damn. Well, listen, shout out to all the breast cancer survivors. survivors yes. and. Uh, well, know. I'm not against breast <laughs> cancer um, survivors. I'm, I'm with it. Right. We mm-hmm. all we go through our shit. We talk about everybody, man. I know. No, no, yeah, yeah, is, yeah, no, you're right. Diss. You're right. I right. feel. Man, we don't he just said the girl's you, chest look like Fetty Wap's eye. Bitch, her titty look like Fetty Wap's eye, nigga. Who's the hero because of his eye, too? By the way. By the way. He's not wearing a prosthetic. Right. Right. He's good for Fetty Wap. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Winky. I look, AKA Fetty Wap, AKA let Winky. that IBC. AKA Winky. AKA Winky. <laughs> Fetty Wap, wink, wink. Right, he's you're winky. in there. The new age Bushwick Bill. Yeah, right. you see, he ah. took it a step further. You know, Bushwick is like, this ain't shit. Yeah. Slick Rick, and what about me? <laughs> so everybody's Everybody coming back. with one eye, like, yo, what about me? Hey, they should the do name? an album. Hey, no, what was the name of the, the Wink rapper? Tour. Wait, what was the name of the rapper the that Wink was on tour? drugs that dug his eye out in the <laughs> Who dug their eye out of the brain? That? You don't remember that? He was Somebody a did. rapper and he was on drugs and he dug his own eye out in the plane. Do you remember that? I can't he remember landed. that. Who the fuck? And was he that? landed and was here in LA and he had he had was in the plane tweaking and, and <laughs> dug his own eyeball out. You don't remember Rubbing that? Rubbing his eye like a motherfucker. <laughs> Flat bread. Oh, it was Houston. It was a huge. It was Houston. He was a singer, uh, but he's hanging out with love the built like a South Park. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Ark is playing 2K. You stupid for that one. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ark is playing. Right there. He said, Free Love. Player 2K. Arkansas, Arkansas, Arkansas player. Is that what it is? Yeah, Arkansas, Arkansas player 2K. This thing's stiff. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked them niggas. But look. My what, third time. Please let me make this right. point because it's important. Because motherfuckers are going. <laughs> you know how motherfuckers lie and make it seem like. No, oh, I Corey know. was talking about breast no, cancer victims. Right. I'm not talking about breast cancer victims. I mean, breast cancer is some awful shit. Right. But I'm saying the lady I'm talking about was shit. on stage with no you don't shirt remember on. Her name. No, but people. Okay. Had so you said, said she was shit. fair game. This yeah. bitch went on stage with no shirt on and did comedy. And some Levi's did comedy like that. That's. To be talked about. Yeah, That's absolutely. funny to in me. In a comedic form. Any right. type of comedic yeah. form. I, 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 I salute her boldness. Yeah. But, God damn it, you must salute mine. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> because this oh bitch God. was built like the World War Three planes. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> the, War, the Red Baron shit? Right. <laughs> oh, my God. This bitch plane. had a Tuskegee Airmen motherfucking plane body. <laughs> 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 Mm-mm. They Smooth. shot syphilis in this bitch. <laughs> oh, here we go. You know what? God, Jesus. <laughs> and it don't stop. Hey, they sailing. I might not be <sighs> the guy you root on. I know if something ever happened to me, they gonna talk shit. Uh-huh. But while That's I'm alive, <laughs> man, I got to have fun, man. That bitch ain't so have on no I'm shirt. Alive. And hey, this she bitch wanted that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if you had no shirt on and you did stand up. I know when I do stand up, you can talk about any portion of it, right? Yeah. yeah. You do stand up. It's talk fair about game. Any like you said, it's fair yeah. game. It's go for broke. So if yeah. you went up there with the drywall chest, there you go. <gasps> that bitch Damn. had the bitch had the real drywall. Dry. That work was up to code on that bitch chest, dog. Government work. <laughs> that okay. bitch up wasn't no code? amateur did that. Anyway. That shit was up to code. Well, well, well. <laughs> this bitch chest was up to code. <laughs> Take a break. He this bitch needed on an orange shirt with her chest like that. <laughs> Safety. Construction ahead, ass titty bitch. Damn. Anyway. All right, fuck. Yeah. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Damn. I like Fetty Wap Eye Bitch. <laughs> Fetty Wap Eye Titty. Oh. Fuck it. Yeah, no. All right, so we're going to take wop. a break. And um. Titty Wap. Titty Wap. Titty Swapped. Titty Swapped. Uh. <laughs> titty Ganked. Bruh. Anyway. This bitch got jack for a titty. Bruh. <laughs> All right, fuck it. We gonna come back and we got another topic that's really gonna get me blackballed. No. Yeah. Um, fuck it. Fuck it. Well, we'll be back. All right, Thank y'all. God, the All right, bitch. <laughs> God damn it. This you bitch, know everybody's gonna go on this This break. bitch iron her chest.
was officially consistently writing, perfecting my artist calligraphy, creating compositions as currency for my craft. They told me my competition is currently getting cash. That's a catch 22. I asked you if all will last me. You riding them with the trends and they ride out them packet bags. Yeah, yeah. This is for my starving artists with a pen and paper, writing off expenses with rhymes. Although the rent is leaner than this ever been before. Knock on the door from the landlord. You put something on it, but now we need your most. Yeah, they don't understand the vernacular. The time that it's taken to make it ain't based off a calendar. Uh, put my ink in the catheter. Unplug me from the matrix. Reloaded a different caliber. Riding with the passengers and travel with my team. Tell the masses that the package I deliver is my dreams. It's Searching while everything else is spinning there. Yeah. In between the nine to five, I'm jotting down rhymes and look it over when I'm leaving. Deleting a couple lines, trying to get in where I fit in this business. I'm on my grind, never minding haters. My wages go to studio time. Uh, yeah, they say they want to support, but when it comes down to it, they can't cut for five at the door. When well, I'ma holler back, rehearse my verses and play the track. Get it in and post it on Twitter. They can follow that. They can follow that. I was told it's about your numbers, boy. And if you're not paying the plate, then your payment for dues is nothing. Boy, boy. Yeah, now that's reality checking. I cash in no records while banking that my message is leverage. So take notes, classes, and such in my pen is the weapon. I take folks past, they present for future endeavors. You know, the struggle lasts forever. You gotta yeah. endure the pain. The war goes out to those that make it through the rain. And after the storm, the sun will shine. The sun will lie. And it's my time today. Uh, okay, you see a man is shown. The passion is undeniable, unmistakable hunger. Really, it's the desire to be heard, be acknowledged, be valued for what they are. Even if your rhyme shine in the dark, you're still a star. Starving artist by those material measures of wealth. Put your merchandise on the table, hope it pays for itself. That love is almost a high when you're rocking without a profit. Family like you gotta stop it. Your pockets are out of pocket, but you can. It's almost sacred. Artistically motivated, some who don't appreciate it eventually grow to hate it. Till that moment you make it, then the hype and applaud And like you weren't singing them same songs when you were starving on, People man. lead off the gimmicks, you know that they barely have this nice And staying true to your heart's art can be a sacrifice Let them stay asleep if they're worried about your necklace Soon as that dog turns into dawn, you'll get your breakfast The struggle Easy. lasts forever You gotta endure the pain Reward goes out to those That make it through the rains And after the storm Try to holler at you for a few ticks. Bitch, get at me. With that snappy nappy. Bitch, I'm trying to holler at you. Where you going? Bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Turn up. ATM up in this house. My nigga be holla at the hoes. Yeah. My nigga J holla at the hoes. My nigga G holla at the hoes. My nigga B holla at the hoes. My nigga J holla at the hoes. My nigga G holla at the hoes. My nigga B holla at the hoes. My nigga J holla at the hoes. My nigga G holla at the hoes. My nigga B holla at the hoes. My nigga J holla at the hoes. My nigga G holla at the hoes. My nigga B holla at the hoes. My nigga J holla at the hoes. My nigga G holla at the hoes. My nigga B holla at the hoes. Soon as they see us, niggas wanna be us. Be us. Uh, soon as they see us, niggas wanna be us. Nigga, nigga, hopping out the regal, looking like a Lambo. 
pay in full bucket. Sway Gucci sandals. Okay. Armani jeans, Versace on the frames. Black. Too many Black. niggas wearing Cardi Slims just look lame. Black. I don't know y'all didn't think that I was. <laughs> just gonna wait some song in the intro, right? I got something written for you. I mean, shit. Phone passwords, you ain't on shit. You know, dress nice at the club. You asked me for a drink. a drink. I said, Let's face some blunts instead, baby. Something in here stink. For real. Put her in the whip, thinking that I got one. Mm -hmm. Turn the lights on shotgun. I realize she's not one. Oh no, I ain't a kingpin, but no, I'm the hot one. Leave, leave. We in the Denali, bitch, not a Dodson. Uh -huh. So act the quarterly hoe with your stank breath. Add breath. Add. If you act right, you might just end up with some cash. With some cash. I got some rubbers that I'm probably gonna use on that ass. On that ass. And I got some Orbit gum right under the dash. You know Looking at the crib and I saved the best for last. After I hit, I probably gonna lie. My homie the past Bitch your breath stack Talk from where you at Bitch your breath stack Better learn how to act Bitch your breath stack On everything bitch that's a fact If I ever fuck I'm only hitting it from the back Bitch your breath stack Talk from
Mic check, one, two, one, two. 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 Mic check, one. Yeah. Hey, yo. Even though we know that getting paper is a part of it, but some niggas be earning without preserving the art of it. Talking like they hard as shit. Whipping luck should be causing it. So many bodies and balls, bullets moving through cartilage. Know what these are in the movie and it's often in the recognize the realness by the bottom. in little china <laughs> i can't with you guys it we hurt, back it hurts my face it got a little hot in here so i'm gonna hang my um bed of roses up here got them better <laughs> no it looks like a little drapery right god damn it <laughs> oh i can't look like um yeah. then they used to have some um they had some sofas like kleenex box look like that <laughs> Yeah. That's, some, that's some wrapping paper. Right. Anyway, fuck it. Okay. All right. So, today I saw something on the internet. Uh-oh. Very disturbing. Very disturbing. What was the little bitch name? Sharkeisha. Some girl named Sharkeisha. Sharkeisha? Mm. Yeah. That's name. the girl who... So, it's old, right? No, that's the girl who punched the, the other little girl, right? Yeah. Punched the other little girl with glasses. While she wasn't looking. Oh, yeah. Cole cocked her. That's ridiculous. I hate that. Shattered her orbit away. Fucked her orbit up. Socket. Yeah. And while the girl was down, she was kicking her. Oh, I hate mm. that. That's ridiculous. I hate that. This brings back up what I want to talk about as this world has programmed you in America to think that don't hit a woman no matter what. If I have a daughter whose eye... It's permanently damaged because mm. mm. some little bitch sucker punched her. Let's say they 16. Mm-hmm. And I see the bitch and stomp the bitch eye <laughs> head to the eyeball pop out. <laughs> Am I a dirty motherfucker? I'm just asking. Hell no. I applaud you, sir. Cause, Fuck that. I mean, we would like to think that we would have like restraint, but when it comes to your own child, I can't guarantee that. That's what I'm saying. I would no. When There's, something like that happens, no. I, listen, I don't care who you are. If you are walking this earth, mm. you can do something that warrants an ass whooping. That's true. No, Male agree. or female. I agree with that. Look, and man. there should be no one to think that that's not the case. And sometimes people need a good ass whipping so they'll learn because I hate assholes. And sometimes they just really need a good beat down. Well, we and should fair. say this. And fair beat down. Not there are violent people punch. in this world. Yeah. yeah. This bitch, Sharkeisha, is a obviously violent person. Mm-hmm. Because not only did she hit that girl with glasses who couldn't do nothing afterwards but clutch. And cover up. Oh and God. cover up. Mm-hmm. While she was down. She kicked the girl in the face. Now, this is what I'm trying to say. Wow. I don't like the fact that America says a woman should not be hit. Because I'm just saying, man, there are some violent, evil women in this world. Inherently bad. Born fucked up. Wow. And when you got a child that's a bully, I really think you need to prepare for what comes with that because... if you hit the wrong person, child, right, right, they will kill your child. Right, yeah, that's fact. They that's will not kill opinion. your child. Right, but what that's I, real. A real fact. Do you understand that? Right, but what I've seen lately happening, Corey, too, is that you have folks in the community actually egging that on because they're so intrigued by the fighting. All I see is fights. People fighting neighborhoods. People. They look. But it looks. Like they look bizarre. Like so, what's going no, on? No, they're in the excited community? by 
the fight. Right. They don't even right. help. So who was filming it? Who was there? Who was there egging it on? Who was putting it up, posting it? It's like I saw a fight one time with a girl jump on another girl while ridiculous. she was with her baby. Yeah, they look oh, yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that. She was with her baby and she saw she didn't want to fight and she jumped on the girl and while the she was with her laughing, baby. And the baby like, hit her. Because you know it's only a reaction. Right, it's the baby. Protect his mom. The bitch hit the baby. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. you fucked up. Yeah. But see, you it, fucked up when you hit a baby. You can't oh tell me Word. shit about what I'm going to do to this bitch. But and see, th- this is anything. this is the problem. This <laughs> this is the problem with violence in America. Mm-hmm. Most of the time they teach it one way. Men need to change. Men need to change. Men need to change. Men need to change. Everyone right now. But the problem is that's basically saying women get a free pass to be violent. When you do, when you do the research, you go to CDC, Center for Disease mm-hmm. Control, and you look up the stats on violence, right? It's mostly women. It's skewed because men are stronger than women, so we, our impact on women has a greater. It's a greater impact physically. physically. But when you start looking at all of the stuff that they consider or that they categorize as moderate violence. Now, mm-hmm. severe violence is men. But when you start looking at moderate violence, it's now what they consider violence. moderate violence is slapping, right. kicking, spitting, throwing things. All that's considered moderate. And at the end of the day, they expect this is how they socialize men. You should be able to handle spitting, kicking, slapping, mm. because if you retaliate for any of that, you weak. Mm. That's right? Up, Bad yeah. boys. So what you gonna do? What what I believe is <laughs> there should be a balance. Mm. There should be a fucking balance. Women need to be re re socialized just like men need to be re socialized. Okay. Who's going to do that re socialization? Sure. It's Who gonna is get in worse with that? social media. I saying? think it's getting worse. I think I I think the programming starts in the house. For sure. I remember when we were younger, moms would tell daughters, don't fuck with a man in a way that men fuck with each other or you're going to get dealt with like a man. Right. Number one, when you're in a situation where your mouth is signing checks that your ass can't check, can't cash, Mm -hmm. you need to fall back Mm -hmm. because you don't know how your mouth, your mouth. Is one thing. Mm-hmm. When you hit somebody, you start pushing that line. You fair game yeah. in my book, and whatever come with it after that, I deal with it because I can imagine blagging out if I see something happen to my child like that. Ooh. Oh yeah, because I will exactly. follow the bitch home to see what fool finna run up in her name. Yeah, because mm-hmm. motherfucker, you the reason this shit happened. As far as I'm concerned. Right. You got this little violent little bitch Acting like that, swinging yeah. on motherfuckers, mm-hmm. right? Thinking that you finna see tomorrow, bitch. Right. Look, let me tell you something. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. It's so many people died suddenly by accident <laughs> over that shit yep. for hitting a motherfucker, falling, hitting their head. Never waking up. Motherfucker, yeah. you done swung on a motherfucker, and then all of a sudden, you see them bullets coming like Neo. Right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like, no. I done <laughs> fucked up. I'm yeah. finna die today. Right. Now, this Somebody's is the, this is the same pop thing. Pop a bitch, pop a, pop a dude, it don't matter. If you, when you hit a motherfucker, you open the door to Armageddon. Yeah. <laughs> this is the same thing that got Stephen A. Smith suspended. Stephen A. Smith simply said, Whenever this violence shit happens, we always look at the end result. We always look at the man's response to the violent or to whatever set him off. We never look at the impetus, what caused it. And sometimes the impetus is the woman. And the way society is right now, they're basically saying, you can't never say, what did you do to bring this upon you? They never showed that Because when Steven said, what did you do? They were like, oh, shit, he's in trouble. Sit him down for, for a week. Right. Not only that. The bitch that they had on TV speaking up for women, you don't see her no more. Mm-hmm. Have you noticed that? Mm-hmm. This bitch, they allowed her to come on to make this point. Mm. And then that's it. You know, where's that bitch at? Mm-hmm. That was on there talking all that shit about women's rights and all that shit. Where is she? I remember the bitch. A Caucasian woman who they listen to when they talk. You know what I'm saying? Right. I have never seen this bitch on ESPN again. Wow. wow. I just can't think of her name. 
And I'm sure somebody in the chat room might know her name. Oh, so she was a known it was, No, she was just oh, a bitch oh, oh. that popped out of nowhere speaking on women's rights. Hmm. Who's a, a work for ESPN. And what she had to say was held up. If you said anything that offsets what she said. Oh, what is it? What's her name? Michelle Beadle. Whatever the bitch name is. I don't give a fuck. I will tell Michelle hmm. Beadle. Or any other motherfucker. Listen, I don't make a habit of hitting women. In fact, the record shows. I don't go around fighting women. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to tell you. I will look. Where's the camera at? <laughs> Let me say this. Up in that corner. Bitch, when you pass licks, <laughs> if you hit anybody that I'm with or me, you can be it can go bad. I'm telling you. It can, yeah. Violence coming back. Mm -hmm. I'm not the type of motherfucker if a bitch slap me, I'm going to just be like, hey, girl. Come on. Get a hold do of that. yourself. Exactly. If a bitch right. slap me, mm -hmm. I, 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 might, I might punch her. I might. But it's in me probably to slap her back. But that real, let this part the touch the palm. jaw slap. Yeah, that, yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That hurtful slap, that violent right. slap, goddammit. Um, yeah, because some of that trying to hold them back and stop kind of thing is does is not working, especially in certain uh, environments. Like I said, my, I, you know what I've witnessed with my, my mom. Well, and she was the violent one. Mm -hmm. She actually was uh, doing that to him while they were driving with us in the back seat. And she started hitting him while he's driving, and, and she actually took the gear shit and was like, okay, "We all gonna just oh gonna shit, we oh, all yeah, she oh. crazy." Oh, you, so you, you, well, you know what you gonna do, right? Yeah. Wow. So thank goodness she got so upset that she ended up taking herself out the car. Go on, walk well, away see, then. But. I I always take it out of the relationship realm mm -hmm. because it seems like women are the most irrational when it's in relationship. So I'll take it out of the relationship realm and I ask the question: Do people have limits? Of just a general question for for women: Do people have limits? And most women who are sensible will say, "Oh yeah, people yeah. have limits." Then so does your husband. Thank you. Yeah. Then so does your boyfriend. And your kids. Yeah. And so do your kids, because a lot of times women will think women love to see the aggression in their man pointed towards someone else, mm. and then they'll feel like he would never do that to me. But at the end of the day, you can't push him past his limit and then expect Everybody him not else. right to right. respond. I mean, you can't have this blanket license of men just don't respond that way unless you teach them from the ground up. Now, if nobody is taught that way, people are going to respond. They're going to respond when they get pushed. Common sense is common sense. What they're trying to do is take away the common sense and act like there aren't wicked, violent bitches in this world. Mm. There are wicked. That's heavy. Wicked, violent bitches. If you go down to the prison, the ones that's been captured, because a lot of them haven't mm, been captured. No. <laughs> captured. Right. Yeah. The, captured. The, the ones that haven't been rounded up. Yeah. With they're, they're at the office you work at. They're, Jurassic they're, Thought they're Park. Around. They're, they live next door to you. They're going to take your parking space. Yeah. Right. And they're going to get in your face. Fuck you going to do, nigga. Ooh, we done all seen, seen the it. social media pictures where women get hit after they done ran up on the wrong motherfucker. Yep. And I really hate to see a woman get hurt because that's naturally how I am. Right. But I'm not going to lie. There's a sense of, sense of satisfaction that comes across me when I see certain. <laughs> somebody finally going, okay, right. that's a When it's a bitch who's doing too much right. and somebody put her in her place. And, and, then, it's always, <gasps> and then it's always that reaction. The little bitch right. on the bus in Cleveland. That little bitch was foul. Or the one in the classroom. Oh, when she recently. spit on the uh, right, right, bus driver. Right. That little bitch not only spit on him, she hit him. Right. Recently, this bitch. There's a girl in, in a class that they posted up. But that's what I'm the saying. The class if, if, in that boy face. Yeah. Yeah. That boy that did everything. Yep. Yes. To yep. try to yep. motherfucker. Right. And he was like, man, leave me alone, whatever. You right. See, there we go. Again. But see, that's that's this is the whole thing. We're giving women. A fucking get out of jail free card to behave badly under the auspices of if a man hits you back, he's weak. And some people actually see that and still say that he shouldn't. I can't. But he that. shouldn't have hit her though. Ever. What the? F well, you a stupid bitch too, and you can get it. Is that the one that, that she got like literally suplex, suplex? Like they picked a. She got yeah. yeah. How to body slam? See, he yeah, just he body slammed her, and he didn't. I I, I teach my daughter. I got a fifteen year old. I tell her, you know. 
I see you playing with your brother and slap boxing and doing all that stuff with him. So you can't do that with everybody because everybody not raised in this house. Everybody's not raised the way you're raised. You might slap box a hurt dude, a dude who's been through some shit, and his natural response is to be violent. He mm. don't know you playing. Mm. You know? So, I, I mean, you got to you gotta fucking educate men and women on how to fucking deal. I think deal. I've said this before. Yeah. If you want to be a responsible man, <laughs> you need to make sure the women in your house understands mm. uh-huh. do not play with niggas in a way where violence can come about. Exactly. Right. Do not do not do not bring the violence. Don't run up in no man right. face. Right. right. Don't do nothing to challenge a man like that. Right. Because you put everybody in danger. Oh yeah. Because we yeah, gonna so. kill a motherfucker. Right. <laughs> you know right. What I mean? right. right. For right. fucking right. with you. So be responsible. You know right. what could happen. The end result of this is, is, not, is, is not gonna it might be life. death. Right. It might be death. All right. you got, you don't but have to society, lift finger. Just call me. Yeah. But see, an evil know. bitch will send motherfuckers off. But yeah. society is breeding That's a right. woman who feels like I, I make the money, I'm educated, I do what the fuck I want, and I can talk to you any way I want. Uh, research has already proven that the testosterone levels are rising in women because well, they because they eating pussy. That's, they have to that's pussy but, no, they have to cope in 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 a capitalist society where it's male driven. So they're now more masculinized. So they feel like they can talk to men them like Brittany men. Grinder bitches eating pussy. That's all. I'm saying. <laughs> you feel all of that way, but unless you can throw them things like Clero. You know, Clero, the bitch came in my face and I choked it to death. Right. He's out there. What is this young lady who boxing name? I mean, Rousey. Rousey. Yeah. These bitches think they Ronda Rousey. Yeah. She trains a lot. She's hella trained. She's committed to training. That's what what I did. Waking up at 430, running five, six, ten miles, lifting weights. If you're not doing that. she's with a male counterpart. No, but that's what I did. I put my daughter into Wing Chun, mm-hmm. the branch of martial arts that Bruce Lee started with. Because my whole thought process is you're going to be prepared. I put her in the Wing Chun. Well, I would prefer to give my daughter the hit gun. Because <laughs> so, so. motherfuckers can do what the fuck they want to do. The that Stretch Armstrong hit. is a motherfucker, boy. Hit gun. That goddamn it! That goddamn it! <laughs> shut it all down. Now listen, in this martial art, you could actually be across the street. Right. <laughs> you don't, you don't have, have to be you, drive by you don't have to work out. You have to work out. You ain't got to train. The motherfuckers be like, scratch your head. Right. You're ready to go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, motherfuckers stupid. talk about it. Boy, I lift that steel. All right, motherfucker, I lift that steel yeah. too. Yeah. Yep. God damn it. I'm still lifting motherfuckers. Hell yeah, god damn it. Let's go. <laughs> That's crazy. And, and I say Whew. gun shit because the truth is. I say it because I'm American. All right, or whatever. Beautiful. I love that. <laughs> god damn it. That the girl, NRA, niggers. <laughs> even though that girl who got sucker punched with the glasses on. Oh, right. She couldn't shoot a gun if she wanted to because she got caught yes. with glasses on. Right. No squaring up. The sneaky Sharkeisha yeah, bitch snuck yeah, her. Like you could see this girl was in agony. And common sense say she had on glasses. Right. Did what them glasses broke yes, poke yes. off in her eye? Yeah. 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 That girl was on the ground, couldn't look up. And mm-hmm. that bitch was kicking her in the head. Yeah. Mm. The sucker. A bitch that her mama. Or her neighbor, or like you say, whoever was shooting that video, they wasn't like, girl, you wrong. Yep. Right. Nope. Nobody stopped. Right. To but help. when a nigga put his fist through that bitch mouth. That was a woman. You shouldn't have did that. Thank you. There you go. Now, there's a campaign uh, on YouTube called Violence is Violence. And we talk about this a lot. On, on In that campaign, in that video, they show, and it's mock. It's not real. They show a couple walking, and the man is going ham on the girl, yelling, look like he about to beat her up. And the whole park wakes up, and and everybody's yelling at him, don't hit her. You better not do anything to her. You better not, you know, everybody. We're going to call the police. The whole park wakes up. A couple of hours later, 
all those people that were in the park are not in the park a whole group new group of people in the park same couple walks through but this time the woman is going ham on the dude hitting him slapping him pushing him no what they're doing is they're laughing at the man because the man is getting punked so the perception of violence is always skewed towards the man is the bad guy but when women are just as violent or more it's seen as oh well that's nothing i mean the man is weak for allowing that to happen right i i, I saw perceptions a, a motherfucker I, I saw a version like that recreate done on a what would you do you double know, standard Qu quinones mm -hmm. what would you do where people are they don't know that it's all set up and they have the hidden cameras so they wanted to see people's reactions and you're right it was totally different when it was the woman causing it on the man right and they then have the same reactions. And then you also have to factor in emotional abuse too. Studies are coming out every every fucking day. Seems like on emotional abuse has a a, a deeper impact than physical abuse. Now it, let a man not be able to do by, right by his woman and he get berated. Mm. Then you ask, well, why did he snap? Well, he lives in an environment where he's not, where he's not appreciated. Yeah. He's marginalized. He's diminished. He's judged. He's critiqued constantly. Shit, motherfucker, snap. That's it. That's what you take. Yeah. I mean, we got to act real. I mean, we got to be real. Women sometimes are put on this pedestal of victimhood when in actuality they're the victimizers and we don't deal with that side of it. It's and, a one-sided war yeah. and, against men too. for being men. Mm-hmm. And then the women get to be whoever they are and never question beyond I reproach. I agree. That's real. It is. And it's bullshit. And and the longer you let it go on, uneven like that, it's always going to be the same fucked up result. Mm -hmm. Right. You understand? It's if it's if it's violence, it's, you got to stop all violence. You can't you can't be one sided. I got one for you. Uh oh. I don't believe most women are even capable. Of realizing that they are fucked up people. <laughs> you will talk to a bitch calm and logically about some shit she did. And that bitch will act like she don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this don't happen with one bitch. This happens with most bitches I have met in my life. They will do some shit. That you be like, okay, okay, let me sit down and try to talk this out with them. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That bitch gonna tell you what you saw you didn't see. Uh -huh. What you thought you you thinking wrong. You it's, crazy. It's, yeah, it's Gaslighters. Yeah. And well, I don't believe they doing it just to play the game. I believe they wicked, insane. Bitches. But that's what I was just going to say, though. I think it's most of the ones you're talking about, I think it's calculated. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah, well, that they know what they're doing. And, of course, for the people out there real this is eight out of ten women in my yeah. life. Uh, we're not and I have been about around all, all of kinds of bitches. No, put it I done been way. around bitches who work movie. in corporate America. I done been around bitches who work in motherfucking Burlington Co. Factory. <laughs> Yeah. These are all the same traits that come from bitches all over the world. We well, don't know what the fuck you talking about. The movie as good as it gets, I believe it's something like that. Oh, Jack yeah. Nicholson. Jack, that was right. a great movie. Jack Nicholson, he played an author who wrote women's books. Yeah. And he was a man. And they said, how do you write? How do you write for the, from the perspective take away of a reason. woman? Said, take away a reason and, and accountability. accountability. Yeah. I, I start with a man. That That's great. dope. And then I take well, away reason great. and accountability. Mm -hmm. And that's <laughs> shit. And he's like, yeah. See, it's a joke, so people laugh at that. Yeah. But it's there's but it's so motherfucking irrational real. and not accountable. Mm. You cannot say that a a terrible man just showed up in your life to fuck with you. Something about you attracted him and to you. And you didn't see signs before, too. So that's what I'm saying. Like, what? Something about you helped create the environment mm -hmm. that created the conflict you are now a victim of. Yeah. All I'm saying is, as a response to what you just said right mm -hmm. there, I believe most bitches are crazy. I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> oh, poor and when, I, and when they oh. talk to me, or if I talk to them, I approach them as if they're crazy. <laughs> Most crazy people, the thing that calm them down and make them talk to you sense, sensefully is a lighter. 
is money. Oh, no, that's that's a hella angle. It's money. money. You saying what? they become reasonable or at least pliable when money is right. When money is involved. But that's when they crazy. can profit. Damn. That's cr- not they become true. they become this rational person until they can get the money. After they get the money. You're talking about them same cra- them going crazy ones. The eight after the they get the get. money. The money part don't even work no more. See, Damn. They're, they're, just, they're just straight out crazy. That's why I say they just evil, insane bitches. Mm-hmm. Most of them. I'm talking about, man, I don't give a who get mad at me, man. I walk down the street, man. I see women. I be like, man, I'm so glad these bitches ain't saying nothing to me. Because I know it's a setup. When a bitch say, hey, hey, bitch, what you want? Yeah, well, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are you up to, bitch? Why are you talking to me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. A, a bitch that don't know you, you just right off the bat just gonna. But that's that gonna but you know what? That's a part of American life. To you, you said though, so the, I, I I see where that comes from. That's a part of American life. For instance, a man is supposed to lay down his life for a woman. Mm. A man is supposed to lay down his life for kids. A man. To. So, but what I'm saying is, it breeds a culture of feminine entitlement. There's a lot of them that, that think like right? that. Right? I'm entitled yeah. to all of your sacrifices. Because that's what you're supposed to do. That's what society says you're supposed to do, man. Mm-hmm. I'm entitled for you to give up everything for us. Women and children first. <laughs> Men are last. Bitches have been bred yeah. to be that way. Program. It's just like a dog. When you train that dog to be vicious by... You know, you know what they do when they want a dog to be mean. Feed it gunpowder. So Feed it. Can Put some hot sauce in his food. It right. <laughs> Slap <laughs> it around. <laughs> That's what happened to these women. They got <laughs> fucked around by society, it's and now, and now they want to act like. They don't know what's wrong when you're mm. talking to them about something that's as obvious as night and day. Mm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Holding a conversation with most women is something that is almost something you have to be like this. <sighs> Before you even begin <laughs> to talk. Before you begin to talk. Wow. It's like, what the fuck? But the thing they gonna do mm. is act like something is wrong with you. After I stomp Sharkeisha motherfucking um, chest plate down where it's like that bitch on TV. Stop. I don't know why I can't laugh at that. Motherfuckers is going to be acting like something wrong with me. Like, <laughs> fuck what Sharkeisha did. What Sharkeisha did doesn't matter. You have no right to defend your child. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You shouldn't wow. be defending your child like that. You're supposed to call the authorities... Which somebody sent me something, man. This shit blew my mind. I forgot this girl's name. That's how I'm going to play it all. Oh, so you do remember her name. I remember her name. I just don't like to put certain people on blast that I haven't, you know, that I don't know. Oh, you know what I'm saying? okay. But she sent me this shit. Some kid stole a lawnmower. Wait, her lawnmower? Some kid stole a lawnmower. It was oh. her son. Her son stole oh. a lawnmower from the neighbor's house or whatever. Mm-hmm. She called the police. This is in Mississippi. Two hours later, her son was found dead in the cell. She called the police on her son. They have trained these bitches to think that you bad. Even your son, bitch. You called the police on your son Mm. instead of taking the lawnmower back to the neighbor. Wow. And saying, my son had your lawnmower. I'm sorry. Yeah, is there something I can do but, to mend well, fences right. because he was wrong? Yeah. We, right. We, this we, bitch right. called the police. So you want to act know. like the police ain't bad people. So you you know what, trained to think, call the police on that nigga. Right. And you know what's so fucked up about it? The excuse she has to make, the story she's got to tell herself. So she can move on with her life. Not she's gonna be, yeah. Bitch, you need to hang yourself. But, but you, you live in Mississippi saying? and you called the police wow. on your own son. Wow. It was a black woman? Wow. It was a black woman. That's what I'm saying. Wow. They are programmed to say, mm. call the police on his ass. Really? You don't have an, if you didn't want to deal with it, you don't have an uncle, some kind of other male figure? That she didn't call the police on the uncle before, too. Wow. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's how it be. 
It ain't no. She didn't know didn't that you can take the lawnmower back. Wow. And talk to the neighbors. She thinks she's supposed to get the authority. The authority. On her own son, who was a teenager. Mm. Dead than a motherfucker now. Wow. Mm. You put on this here tie and this jacket, and you go on down to the police station and turn yourself in. God damn it. Don't you say nothing about that butler. (laughs) (laughs) With that Lee Daniels ass shit. Same shit. God damn it. He been kissing ass for years. That ass kissing got you through college. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, you put your head down and do what you want and do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> it is shit that's crazy, man, because how to harm some Negro spirituals. Right. When, when you see these types of sisters, because they're not all, mm. not all the women mm. are like that, but when you Poor see son. these types, and especially if they're single mothers, Ugh. they are conditioning a race of young boys to take disrespect under the guise of their first teacher, which is mom. Mm. So if mom is disrespectful to dad, if mom alienates dad, if mom, if it's a common practice for mom to raise her voice, curse Mm. and do all types of whatever, act a goddamn fool in front of the son and dad doesn't do anything or can't do anything. Boys are raised up, effeminized for one, emasculated for two. Because if you see mom emasculating dad, you're learning that being emasculated is okay if it's coming from your woman. So let me ask you a question. When they were raising up in Baltimore and that mother came slapping her son point, around. Point in case. If he would have threw his mother off oh. him and said, see. don't do this. Go home. Right. Mind your business. I'm out here in these streets. Or every time she came up on him, he did her like this and be like, stop. Don't do that. Right. They would have motherfucking arrested that boy. Oh, yeah. Because that's not what they want to see. Right. What they want to see was that woman. She was a hero. Right. Hitting her son. They pegged her as one. They pegged her as a hero. We need to do something on where's that boy now. Right. Where is he? Because I know. That I, I was looking at his eyes. You, you could see the resistance. I would give it a year. Watch. I would give it a year because it just happened uh, several months ago. I but it's she got all kind of psychological yeah, advantage. She's I a mean, great um, mom because she beat him up. Issue. There's so many through lines. There was no father involved. There was no man there. And look how strong and courageous she is. The man in jail. But do you understand what I'm saying? Like mm. the story that or they want to that they create, want right. to create. Yeah. And it's a story that they create to reprogram again. Right. Is is it's it's in cartoons, it's in TV, it's in advertisement, it's in music. All of that is done. If you remember the Behold a Pale White Horse, remember that book? Mm-hmm. It talked excellent about book. That. It talked about this. This is mm-hmm. you see. Listen, here's the daughter. You have the mother, the father, the son, the daughter. The father is supposed to, no matter what, provide for the mother and the daughter. Whatever daddy's little girl wants, whatever daddy's wife wants, whatever you want, father shall provide. If I don't, then I'm not worthy. Okay, so that creates a wife and a daughter expecting that they should be provided for. Right. Now, all of this is only done for manipulating an economy, for oh. selling shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah, yeah. This is to be sold. Mm. Yeah, if yeah. you have a woman that sees something and she wants it, you have to get it. That's that's money spent. Yeah. You're raising a daughter to have money spent again. Mm-hmm. You're raising a son to say, okay, I see dad doing this, so this must be what I have to do. That's right. Mm-hmm. Go out there and spend that money on whatever that woman points at mm-hmm. and blindly just keep working for whatever that woman wants. And a right. woman wants everything because they put it that way. It's shiny. It's sparkly. It's colorful. You mm-hmm. want right. it, don't you? Bling, bling. Yes. You see, so- it's manipulated. It's, it makes money. That's the only reason they do this, man. We right. do this on this radio, and you know, people send us stuff because there's a lot of people who, who, who skim through the internet and they know things, and they want you, um, they want you to see the tradition of an engagement ring, all of that shit. Mm-hmm. They want you to see what they see, meaning like they do research as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a guy, um, uh, he, he, I think his name is um, Buster Miller. Do you guys have you guys ever seen? It's at Buster Rufus. 
B U S T A R U F U S. Yeah, he always sent me shit, mm-hmm. and he sent me this documentary. I didn't even finish watching it, but it's called "Everything Is a Rich Man's Trick." Hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. I just feel like, and I didn't even finish watching it because it's you know it's pretty long. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to finish watching it. Check that out. Everything is a rich man's trick. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Or it's on a YouTube. documentary like Netflix or something. From JFK or... to 9/11, everything is a rich man's trick. Hmm. <laughs> it's real, man. That shit already yeah. sound yeah. fire. It, oh, it, 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 this white man is sitting there giving the game in this documentary. Basically, you know, people. A lot of people. When you say Illuminati freeze, they don't know what it means. Mm-hmm. It's just something they heard. They don't know it's a group of elites. As far as it go, it's a group. The people who robbed and killed the Indians right. have put together a group that is set up to make sure their foot is on the head of everybody. You'll never get to where we are. Right. You and, know and what I mean? You, and mind you, here's the big the big shin thing. You're talking to white people too. Your that's what I'm saying. Ain't rich. Right. No. You're not wealthy. You, you, that's right where I was going next. You know? It's yeah. not the regular white man. The nah. regular white man is the puppet where they go along with it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm white. They, I'm uh, better than you. Right. Right. It's and some, meanwhile, you ain't got shit either, dumbass. Right. Ass. It's some motherfuckers way on the wicked yeah. side. Got yeah. them yeah. faded. These motherfuckers, so These white, motherfuckers have clear. planned out the destruction of man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They want to be in control. What color, right. No matter what color. Right. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter what doesn't color. Matter That's why when you see these dumb. Or gender. These dumbass <laughs> fucking hillbillies talking mm. shit about right. white shit. I'm like, you're like not in the party, else. buddy. No. You're out here with us. <laughs> yeah. Right. If you you're can talk st- to you're us, still playing. You're the, not in the party. <laughs> right. You're still playing a race game when the wealthy 1% are playing a class <laughs> game. I'm looking at you. You think, oh, because we're both white, oh, hell we're yeah. one big... No, you're down there with this the niggas, but we don't let you know removed. that. For real, right. right. <laughs> People do not believe that Hitler, as well as Barack, was something that was produced. They don't believe it. I said, hey, these people are produced. Barack Obama, Hitler... Bush, these people are produced by an elite group of motherfuckers that will murk your ass. The world is a stage, mm-hmm. Shakespeare said. Mm-hmm. And really, that applies to politics. Oh, big time. Everybody's mm-hmm. playing a role. Mm-hmm. That's it. And we get caught up in the roles that right. people play. Oh, well, Hillary is leading now. And, you know, if we took a poll today, she would probably win the presidency. But you please understand what the presidency is and what it represents. It's a figurehead. And it's not just Hillary. Listen, check this out. It's HIV, not really the government. You know? HIV was produced. Right. This was put out here. All the people who died from HIV, this was produced by some motherfuckers. Who are in charge of everything. Mm. Listen, if they could produce motherfucking Planned Parenthood and in its inception for the purpose of pruning black slaves who were just, when I say pruning, let's kill the imbecilic among them. Let's, mm. let's kill them, right? Mm. If Planned Parenthood was created for that, why wouldn't you think the pharmaceutical company and industry wasn't created for the same purpose? Right. Why why wouldn't you think the food with Monsanto and all of these huge multinational corporations coming in to kill why 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 wouldn't why wouldn't why wouldn't prison systems. why would the prison system Ooh, the okay let's fluoridate the water and the countries are sitting back looking at all of these fucking plans being implemented in america and watching us like a tv show we'll see what happens to them 10 generations down the line before yeah. we get on board they coming to get everybody though they're in they're in iraq producing just like they got us here where everything is on video, Big Brother always watching, mm-hmm. they got that region now where it's set up mm-hmm. for production. That's what I call it. Yeah. They're producing this shit, man. The, the women and men going to be pitted against each other just mm-hmm. like in America because it wasn't like that before. I mean, I'm bold enough to say this. The wicked Caucasian people who get down like that came there. 
It wasn't that way. I'm not saying they everything was, cool. was perfect. Yeah, they they they, they right. had their way of life. They had their way of life. The indigenous people had their own medications. Everything was fine. Good to go. And then all of a sudden they come in and like we're gonna regulate that. We're gonna make money off of all this. And then to tie all of this shit back together to go back to the topic. The war between black, was produced. But the oh, war between shit. black men and women, the animosity, the enmity that we experience between each other is also socially engineered. Yes. Yeah, uh, please the understand that. Well, the internet. So they, they see that these people are like, oh, we're going to fall in love with posting <coughs> this violent shit. Like, yeah, look at that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, media takeout, all hip hop people, world star. Anytime something goes crazy, like, ooh, world star, and then people start filming it. It's 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 crazy how they're like, right? Their minds are just like wrapping around the popularity of. Did you see that? Or you know, because it's so crazy looking that that people are getting like intrigued by because this. Because it looks like a movie we've seen. It's so. It sad. sounds like a song we've heard. It's like they're you don't apart. see justice you know being done for that. No. All you yeah. see is that. That. That's it. Exactly. You don't, you don't, you don't got world star in the courtroom. Nah. Okay. <laughs> nah. You know, that's a lot of bad motherfuckers. <laughs> I've seen some bad motherfuckers, man. Badass, like some real real killers. But this is the thing that always bugs me out. Mm. As bad as a motherfucker is, when you get your silly badass in that courtroom, why are you so polite? Yeah. Cause, Cause you, they, so that insane. shit got real. You're so crazy, that shit right? Got real. Oh, but you was, you was bad. But now this motherfucking cracker in the motherfucking black robe got you. Yes, sir. yes, y'all. No, y'all. Man, get the fuck yeah. out of here. Yep. You see, you <laughs> see the ones that are taking it. You're not bad unless you in the courtroom telling the judge, "Hey, y'all, suck my dick." Right. You see, give those me a thousand years, bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've seen a couple of ones. I've seen, seen, yeah, I've seen a couple dudes. Seen that them. one dude went in. Yeah, very. I don't know what that. Hey, tweet, tweet us that link. That one dude went in. Did he already have life? I don't know. If you he know he was going to get life, yeah, probably. If you knew you was going to get life, dude. you might as well have a ball. But I'm right. talking about if there's any chance no, no, no. that you could walk out of that courtroom <laughs> no, right. sitting up straight, glasses and suits on. Thank you. Because cause it's, it's a, yo, man, the shit gets real when it's real. Yeah, you can go ham if you know you done murdered some motherfuckers and you ain't finna streets no, well, like finna see the streets no more. Right, it's like that little girl. You think really she gonna be badass when they go and they tell her she's in trouble now. Oh, right, they're not did, gonna The one that her. did the damage to their little girl, all of a sudden, then it's like, oh, God. Then they become, they're, 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 the ones that do all that kind of stuff, that behavior, that act like they're bullies and they're tough, are usually the worst punks. But as you said, she did it. Without her knowing, it was that that blindsided hit and it all that kicking on the ground. Punch. Thank you. Right. It's called a Thank sucker you. punch, yeah. not because the person that got punched. But you think she act tough when sucker. they went to tell her that she was the in person some kind that of threw the punch is the sucker. It was the right. sucker that punched. Right. Mm. Remember that, man. It's called a sucker punch because the person, in, the girl with the glasses that got taken by surprise is not the sucker. Exactly, right, right, right. right the right, tricky right. ass bitch that threw the punch when she wasn't looking. That was some That's sucker, the sucker some shit. Punk ass shit. Some unworthy shit. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. Every time you see kids like that, they always got a parent that run up like you fucking with their kids. Right. right. Yeah. That's why you supposed to beat their parents' ass in front of them. <laughs> right. When that motherfucker woke up, man or woman, who the fuck did so? Oh, you're the you owe it to the community mm. to destroy that motherfucker. Yeah. Mm. You owe it to that little bitch who crazy now, Charlinka, to destroy her parents in front of her. Mm. Wow. Don't listen to what those people told you. <laughs> yeah. It can result in a community ass whooping. Mm-hmm. We need to just take over at the house. It got, it's it's got to start at the house. Raise your daughters to respect men. And understand that all men have limits. Even the ones with the highest integrity, the highest level of character, they all have limits. We were born that way. All people are born flawed. Mm -hmm. So don't have this fucking fantasy in your mind that says he'll never be that way to me. Well, you know, if you fucking get comfortable and push a motherfucker to a level, anything could happen. And your daughter's going to mimic that. She right, make that and, she and you just got to make sure that you teach the daughter right, mm-hmm. and you teach the boy right. It can't just be okay. We got to start with the men mm-hmm. because their impact is greater than a woman's. Well, we, we we haven't been able to quantify if the emotional triggers that get fucking. How many women know how to push a man's button? Ooh. 
how many wo- how many women spend their time finding the buttons and pushing the buttons and and daring your ass to cross a line? Well, act like they don't know what you talk about. Or act like they don't know. You could have a text. <laughs> you could have a whole list of texts that a bitch sent. Just showing mm. that she fucking with you. Right. Don't you see I'm not responding to this shit? Right. It's been a day. It's been two days. You're just fucking with me. They will still act like they don't know what the fuck you talking like, about. Like, talking well, what about do you mean? Most bitches. Mm-hmm. What do and you when mean? I say most bitches, that's 80% of women. <laughs> Get mad. I don't give a fuck. No, nah, that shit is real. I, I ain't getting mad. I, ain't I, want, I just, I, I, I want people to understand that it's, I, I want people to understand that it's bi-directional. It's mm. not one way. It's not just men are crazy and just get mad and jealous and psycho. There are triggers in that fucking home that come from the other side of the fence that need to be dealt with too. <clears throat> That's just, it needs to be dealt with can't, too. Hey, it can't be dealt with if those people are in denial. And that's what's right. going to happen with most of those parents. And it's already ingrained. They're yeah, old it, the, the logic like, is dumb. Like, you can't so say, stupid. well, let's correct men, but <laughs> not have the argument on what's wrong with women. Right. Mm-hmm. If you're going to correct men, are you saying women are already fine? W- women are fine <laughs> the way they are? Not with those emotions. So, so <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, we got to correct men. Well, no, we have to correct relationships mm-hmm. and how men and women relate to each other. You can't save the nation unless you save the women. The, uh, the, woman, the women have been poisoned exactly. by the powers that be, and their attitudes and their behavior shows that they have been poisoned. Come on. And, and I'm tell you. nobody's bold enough to stand up and speak on it from that point of view that gets the mic as far as it goes with television. Mm. Just like your boy just said right here, mm. Big Will, 206. Some of the nicest men on this planet can snap one day. Oh, sure. Sure. And the importance, see, the importance of a woman being taught is, you got to remember, a woman is, is the first teacher. Right. First, the supposed first to be. teacher you, it, it will supposed be. to be yeah. mother. When a woman, when she you is. come out the womb and hit the titty, you just learned that's what, hey, hunger, satisfaction right here. Mm. That's a first lesson. The wicked Aryan leaders of this country knew if they destroyed the mentality of the woman, they would destroy that race. Exactly. That's why they have made it wow. where black women act the way they act because they have produced mm-hmm. an environment where... You see what's happening. Yeah. You got little kids wow. on the internet yeah. Yeah. Right. fighting. You can see it in their eyes. Oh, the evil. Yeah. This bitch ain't even got no motherfucking remorse. Nah, no, wow. no, no, no empathy. No, no. And by compassion. default, Nothing. by by default, mothers are beyond reproach. That's mom. Bet nobody say nothing bad about my mom. By default, the mothers are beyond there. reproach. Mm. But just because you're a mother doesn't mean you're a mentor. Oh, doesn't hello. mean you're a great oh, teacher. Does it, you, you could be a mom just biologically, just by getting fucked. So, but yeah. that don't mean you're a steward of this child's development. Am I wicked for saying this, Zoe? Mm-hmm. Most moms are moms because they kept this one. God damn. Am I wicked for saying that? Well, and not only that, and not only that, God damn. They kept this one. That's the only reason you a mom. God damn. The ones that get the the true definition of swept under the rug, swept in the dumpster. (laughs) Swept in the dumpster. (laughs) That's what happens. (laughs) And in some cases, maybe that was the lucky one. No, because and that's fucked up that you got to look at it like it that. It is, because right. I had to, because right. I know I've been there. Right. I didn't have a mom that was because great. So many people will hit us in the head with what Brother Malcolm said mm. about father, right? You're not a father just because you got a woman pregnant, right? There's so many, especially in the black community, we get hit in the head with Brother Malcolm's words. But we have to remember, in the universe, there is balance. So that statement also applies to mothers, just because you opened your legs and allowed somebody to plant a seed in you does not necessarily mean that you're a good mother just yeah. because you were able to get pregnant and have a child. I heard that. Mm-hmm. I got so many women that if they say it to me, be a good father to your child. Right. I could turn around and tell them, what about the ones that you aborted? 
I can't be a good father to them, can I? Because <laughs> of what, are you, is it what I did or is it what you did? Wow. Huh? huh? <laughs> bitch, shut the fuck up. That's why when bitches be talking, I be like this half the time. <laughs> I knew this bitch was talking to me for five minutes, man. I just ran. Yeah. I couldn't take it. If I don't respect you, you're going to know it. You're going to know it. My actions are going to show you I don't respect you. That's with anybody. But dudes will be like, fuck you, nigga. I see that shit. But bitches, because they want money or whatever they trying to get, will be like, <laughs> and your, your behavior is obvious you don't respect them. Mm. But they'll keep fucking with you because they ain't got what they want. I tell you this, man and woman, if you have a child with someone that does not respect you, that new family is doomed. Yeah. You might not you might as well just not even try to make that shit work. Or you get when men respect you, they do things to show you. Listen, mm. I respect you. Even if I got fucked up ways, I respect you. Right. But women will ignore a man doing shit that is so obvious that he don't respect them. And then we'll or, tell you about it, and then women. you be like... Or you got to be specific. Those women. You keep saying right. women, women. Women in general. Women. women. Right. You're right, Darlene. You I don't that. mean all women. Right. Thank I you. don't mean all women. Right. There are some very intelligent women in this world. So right. you're just saying that it's who, very few and far between. Is what you're saying? It's, that's a, it's that's, that's about the truth. It's not a lot of them it's because not a lot. I can of this of that because I know right. the environment that is produced. Them, right, but just remember this too. Yeah, men are supposed to do certain things, but sometimes women will take what a man is doing when a man is mm. busting his ass, doing the best he can, doing what's right. Mm. Women sometimes have this autopilot on of well, that's what you're supposed to do. Chris Rock had a famous joke. Nigga, you're not supposed to get no applause. Yeah, you are. Appreciation is lubrication for a good relationship. And if you ain't giving appreciation back and forth, and you and it's just I'm fucking punching a time clock, right. doing what the fuck I'm supposed to do, and you don't acknowledge that it's mm -hmm. good shit. Oh no, that's what you're supposed to do. Fuck that. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? You we got to start appreciating and each other more. More each other more, right? Because I'm witness to that right now. I have some people around me, close friends around me right now, where uh, I feel so bad because he's allowing the ch they are not just he they're allowing the children to see this. It's the reverse. He doesn't want to do anything. He's making excuses. Doesn't want to work. Doesn't want. She went out. The moment that she, the kid is finally able to stay in school for the longest time. So now the kids are seeing that. And I heard for the first time the other night, and I told my, my, the person I know, I told her, you know, you guys gotta, you guys gotta keep that. If you're gonna go there with each other, keep that hidden because right now the kids are, they're, they're, they've been soaking that up for all this time. And sure enough, here we go. The oldest one of the kids literally said she was the mom was saying something like we couldn't do this and see you can't do that don't bring your drama either to the kids I'm like, we can't afford that we don't have that i gotta do this i gotta do that i gotta do that and out of nowhere this kid and she's the sweetest best one too right that has her shit together this young girl said well why didn't dad help why isn't dad helping me why you always got to work so hard because he's over there he's over there playing video games he's over there not doing it and, it, and there's the representation hmm. but at the same time they're also seeing the mom taking it too. Say so, it. Say it. No, say real. it. No, I'm witnessing it right now. Yeah. They're also seeing the mom take that. In other words, like you allowing that. So the it, dude don't work. New. No, here's the thing. It's not new. He's not a grinder. He's not making sure you you are in dire right now. Your family needs each up, both of them. And he's not stepping up to the plate. It's down to the wire. They need the help, both of them. And he's making excuses. Oh, I got this, and I'm gonna do this, and I'm. Gonna, he's one of those ones where it's gonna. I want to wait for something big type thing. I don't want to grind. I don't want to bring in even the littlest bit that can help. No, he belittled her though. But here's the thing, she she let that be known. She let them see that he belittled her about a year ago and said, "Well, look at you. You're nothing. You're not doing nothing. You just had the kids. You're staying at home. You're not doing anything." She, the moment that the youngest one was able to stay in school all day, she went got a job. Now she's bringing in all the money 
and now but she's rubbing it in his face and they're just seeing everything so there's it sounds like a childish forth. relationship but that's what i'm saying both of them none of them have it together maybe like, he putting wood on that bitch no if that's not what even is your dad helping well your no, dad is not gonna hole in it and make you happy <laughs> <laughs> that's not the case you better I hope just... you get some wood little bitch no it's bad <laughs> don't <laughs> fuck it <laughs> okay. no, don't it's fuck bad. my no, wood up there, you know, <laughs> I can't say it but no it's basically like a like a both of them are trapped because they both of them neither of them have anything she don't have anything to go to he don't have anything to go to so now they got this they developed this family and you screwed, you screwed. <laughs> but I will say this he putting wood on that bitch. oh hell no and i know i i, I will say this <laughs> you know you fucking the nigga yeah right hell no. you know what i'm talking about hey, come find out why i play these games yeah. Yeah. She, 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 oh she yes he's a winner yeah you. you really want that she'd be like hell no be sneaking over here. hell <laughs> no not at all darling how you know he ain't giving wood Cause that's my good friend. She's my good friend. I know all of it. She is so not. So Neither y'all talk of them are about getting that? it. As a matter of fact, that might be part of the problem. Is they're not getting it. Yeah, it could be. It. Well, you say she working. He know it's something doing right over there. No, they're just stuck. Nobody has anywhere to go. Nothing's happening. That Sometimes nigga can sing good. That nigga be in bed. Shit, Whatever no. you want me. Would you to. like a Friday? It's my special well, day. <laughs> Friday. This nigga just make Fridays. Oh, this, this nigga finger don't get tired. It's something that nigga no, doing. That doing. motherfucker doing. <laughs> something sexual with you, but no. I it will say this sexual. though. Like, why he around here? Just why like are women around the guys be holding on to these women. I always I hear get you it. complain. I'm guys it's... complain and they still hang on to them. Hello, what's your answer? Well, I, I I would say this. Maybe they have some shit going on where. You say they got kids together, right? Yeah, they have young kids. Sometimes yeah. breaking up the family is not an easy thing hey, to do. What if no. you don't? You what sacrifice if you don't have to kids? be with um, mm-hmm. that person. Then it's a money thing again, Let me too. Tell you, it's always man, something. See, let's, let's just keep it. My parents, God bless them, both of them passed away. I, you know, one thing I will say about marriage and about people that have been together for a long time and plan mm-hmm. on being together for a long time. The, the the movie has it been uh, happily ever after, forever. Everything is mm. always pieces and cream. That's bullshit. Real life is peaks and valleys. The life of a hustler, sometimes you up, sometimes you down. Mm-hmm. They may be going through something. You know what I'm saying? People go through shit. Sometimes shit may, may take a couple of years. You don't know what the fuck it is. We don't know. Mm-hmm. But if people are going to be together... Then you got to make a commitment. Okay, we're going to be together. If this nigga's sitting on his ass playing video games at this period, for this period, I don't know what the process of life is. Right. For him, to, mm. for it to click. But maybe she believes that some, I know this nigga. He's on mm. some dumb shit right now. He's on some fearful shit. He's on right. some whatever the fuck he's on. Right. If if that's your man, ride through. Be ride or die, God damn it. Right. Ride with this Right thing. now it's die. Well, if, if <laughs> right. it's die. I'm going to say this. Die. Sometimes mm-hmm. mothers overprice motherhood in the same way they overprice their vagina. Well, At the end of the day, men matter too. And men are integral to the develop. Fathers are integral to the development of good women. Mm-hmm. They're integral to the development of good young men. And when women stop overvaluing their contribution as mothers and as uh, intimate, significant others and start valuing men, the men in their lives, and stop looking at them as motherfucking role fillers, you're here to fill this role. You're here to protect, provide, Mm -hmm. and dick me down and take care of us. Well, it's more to us than just those roles those functions right, right and when you start appreciating the fullness of what a good man is in your life you might have a better life you might have a better husband you might have a better marriage you might have a better parenting but if if it's your your way or the highway or you matter more i didn't have motherfuckers mm. come at kids oh, gonna talking work. about gonna work yeah Man, I didn't seen some some fucked up shit. I'm just saying. Well, it's a reason Stop why people overvaluing that motherhood. It's mother a reason shit. why people hang in there, even if chances are they won't make it. And that might be a topic for a show. 
Oh, yeah. Why people hang in there, even though chances are we're not going to make it. it. Money. But a lot of times it just ain't going to make sense to everybody else. Everybody's different. And you can never say, I want a, I want a guy like Zoe and like a, a married couple, right? And you see that they're doing well and you go like, you know what? I want a man like him. And then the guy says, I want a girl like her. But you know what? You're not her and I'm not him. It's never going to be the same. Those two, that's just two different Man, people. Man, look, so. people, we are humans and we are insane. I know people oh. who have talked about... <laughs> Um, the guy is too nice. I know women who have talked about, oh, he does everything for my house. He takes care of the kids, all that. But he doesn't make hardly any money as a male boy. I done heard all kinds of shit that just make me feel like, wow, it's really it's really hard to make a woman happy. Wow. And I'm go, sure that women, women will have a point of view as well. Wow. We probably would need wow. to have point of view from women. You know, different different people coming on right, saying right. things. And I'm not talking about Hollywood women. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about just regular, regular. Joe Schmoes right, yeah. giving their spiel. Regular Joe Schmoes guys giving their spiel. And then, you know, we all try to come up with some type of um, point of view that might put a light on the head of a couple right. to keep them together. Right. But the truth is, I know couples that hang in there to the end, even though they not gonna make it. They knew this was coming. Well, well sometimes there's money, there's money but there's sometimes there's money issues heaven. keep you locked into a relationship that is toxic or unhealthy. But sometimes you got assets tied up, property, different shit like that. I mean, it ain't. Just and it would be uh, cheaper to stay together. It's a whole bunch that's of scenarios. Yeah. If that's how you want to live from now until death, then well. Good it's luck. a whole bunch of scenarios that we can bring up why people are still around each other. And I, I, I'm i I'm definitely down to talk about something like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, I live a crazy life. You know what I'm saying? My shit is my shit is crazy. We could tell by that jacket. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this jacket is my pain. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn it. But I'm saying, like, <laughs> we could go into that. I love it. It, it is yeah. what it is. I mean, stop. We, that's that's a topic that'll just never end. There's no I don't even know if there's any clear answers because people are just so different, what they want, what they want to hold on to, what they What um, what I know is this. On the outside looking in, because my little brother he lives in Las Vegas, and you know what I'm saying? He he dates this girl that I really felt like was bad news. Mm. And I said shit about the girl to him because niggas in the streets told me about your brother with that girl. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. And, and he loves her. He's still with her. Yeah, well. You know, what the you fuck go. I'm going to do? There you go. Ain't nothing you can do. Because it ain't her fault no more. Nope. Right? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I, when I see her now, I'll be like, hey, what's up? Yeah, it. You ain't did nothing, yeah. right? right. This right. motherfucker with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and if you still want a relationship with him? Yeah, you're not gonna keep. Big I brought that point up to say when you get in people's shit. Next thing you know, you like, damn! I should have never said nothing. Yeah, I you know what that. I mean? Right. Exactly. I should have exactly. never exactly. fucking said nothing. The reality is this: if you can live in it, <laughs> I definitely, definitely can live out of it. Ooh, mm. it's none of my business. Yeah, man. it's not. It's, it's really people, cause I can tell you, man. Person will cry on your shoulder, and then go right back. It, it, it cry on your shoulder just to get you out of there, mm. so they can go back and suck the same old raggedy dick. Oh, okay. Or, or fuck with the same old raggedy bra. Man, this bitch ain't shit. I took. Oh, Always complaining, but still That's staying her down. Right That's there. her. I call uh, you. Back. I'm gonna holler back. <laughs> you love it. I they really? love it. They put up this front that they don't, but in reality, they do love it. Yeah. You know why? Because as raggedy as that person is, that's the one place where they're in control. Mm. So or they might just control. be a raggedy motherfucker too, and you like raggedy shit. That too. Bottom line. Yeah. A million reasons. Mm -hmm. wow. We'll get into this yeah. shit. We'll finish this shit yeah. next week, man. Crazy. Flew by on us, oh, man, and we got to wrap this shit up. What's I want to say this. Then? I'm on my way to Houston, Texas. Uh-oh. And uh, Houston. Houston, La Texas. La Kiki, peaches. Yeah. Come on down here to Addison and Bob. <laughs> no, that's Dallas. Oh, that's, oh, Dallas. Yeah, that's Dallas. Yeah, that's Dallas. Oh, Houston. Oh, he be there too, though. Yeah. La La Kiki, that's not, as much, not as much. Oh. Not as much. Not as much. Yeah, I came down over to so and so. I don't right. run it no more. I put four the dude, he top. marking, he got him down back. <laughs> exactly like that. <laughs> Come on, La La Kiki. Hey, how you doing, peaches? We got a big weekend. Corey, help him. Most comedy clubs, I'll be there <laughs> Friday, Saturday, table. Sunday. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Houston, Dallas, them places. I'm there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, wow. Because 
in my opinion, Texas has a, a black middle class. Mm. Yeah. So people can afford to come out to the shows. And fuck mm-hmm. with you. So I'm very looking forward to going to Houston. Yes, this yeah. weekend, yeah. they gonna take care of them. Y'all should come down and we support gonna the brother. We gonna have a ball, Houston Improv. We gonna have a motherfucking ball, goddammit. This weekend, I got some um, shirts that you ain't never seen before. Uh oh, <laughs> is that those in there? Yeah, we got some fifty one fifty shirts. See, I got shit that sometimes I pop up with at the show. <laughs> And people who be on the website, they'll be like, what is this? I never saw this. This is not on the website. (laughs) Right. Everything that's on the website is not what happens at the shows. Uh, Right. It's part of the mystique that keeps people fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? This nigga's a marketing genius. Right. (laughs) (laughs) So. I thought I had every shirt. Houston, you already know what it is. Thursday through Sunday, I'm in the fucking Houston Improv. And I'm finna motherfucking lay back and enjoy myself. Word. You know what I'm word, 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 word. Hmm. Yeah, I wanna hmm. I wanted to I'm gonna be at the J spot on Halloween. October thirty first. Oh, me, shit. Anthony oh. J. Brown are gonna be at the J spot for Halloween comedy night. So it's gonna be a good nice. show. Yeah. There you go. There you go. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Darlene? Um, uh, getting ready for my book, man. It's finally arrived. Yeah, darling. Anyway, you can go to overtheedgebooks.com um, and pre-register your email so that they can keep you posted on the release date and also get like, you know, they're going to give people a special deal. Mm-hmm. Those that are uh, on there in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Nike, then, Nike, why you bullshitting? They were supposed to release them back to the future. <laughs> Back to the Futures. I'm just saying, them George McFly's. I wanted them motherfuckers. That was the pair I've been waiting on. I know you did. For some I wanted reason, them motherfuckers. They it. tie themselves. You press the button and oh, they tie. That's right. you want to see that. Huh? <laughs> it's gonna break right Don't away. Don't forget to support my book. That's right. The relationship dismount. How to stick the landing. You can get it on oh. Amazon, Kindle, you, or you can go to my website, imzowilliams.com. We only have a few of these physical copies left, 193 copies. Anybody purchasing within the United States gets free shipping and handling. So I am ZoeWilliams.com. Get your copies now. And also you can get my app <laughs> on Google, and it'll be on Apple in about 10 days. My app is Zoe Williams, no spaces, Google Play right now. There you go. And uh, last time I was in Houston, that little dyke couple that invited me out to do that, and I declined. Uh, if y'all show up again, just holler at me. Oh, my God. I thought about it, God damn it. I was like, fuck it, you know. <laughs> you know what you do? Go to the barbershop with They're a cute couple. Around. It's just one of them real butchy and shit, you know what I mean? But I was thinking about it. She was cute butchy. Long as there's a womb down there. <laughs> so you, you fuck a dyke? Bruh. I have fuck dykes. But... um. <laughs> You fucked dykes before too. You just don't know. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about the butch looking ones. Oh, they wasn't butch that day. Some of them clean up good. Was this at church? Yeah. Well, you know, it's some butch bitches that they get hold my coat while I uh, change into my camisole. Right. Oh God, <laughs> damn. This tampon hurt. All right, fuck it. I went there. All right. Oh shit. All right, you text. Faces. I'm just making faces. I'll okay. see y'all this weekend. 5150. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. We Woo. about this bitch. Yeah. You motherfuckers. A rato. Shakisha, you a bitch. <laughs> God damn. Damn it. <laughs>